dead from the Loki studio for this Thursday, the 28th of March. It's Back Pocket. Brought to you as always by our goofy and silly Back Pocketeer patrons. This week, starting, starting, Gustav Ronald. <laughs> Stephanie Ben Dixon. Dune 2. <laughs> Peter Burns. Get in the case. <laughs> Come on, kids, it's fun in there. And special guest, Game Boy comedian and season nine Survivor contestant, Eden Porter. Wow, this guy is on. And behind the scenes, it's Josh, Will and Ben. And me. This week on the show, we try to survive and do whatever Eden wants us to do. Now get ready, it's time for Back Podcast. <laughs> His name is Milo, the name of a loser. Ah! Hello! Yay! Welcome to Back Pocket. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight. We've got a very fun show. We've got a very colourful guest. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's very exciting to be here. And I'm in brown. You're in brown. I will uh, brown tonight. That, but that's, a, that's still a, fu- a zany fun show. It's eye-catching in a way that people go, eh. I feel like everyone's made an effort. Thank you. Uh, Eden, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me, team. I love it. (laughs) Welcome back to reality, we should say. But you've been back for a while. (laughs) I've been back for a little while. We filmed it a little while ago, but still, I haven't gone over just eating rice and beans every day for like 31 days. We've attempted to serve you. I ordered beans for dinner tonight. Did they arrive? Did we see them? (laughs) No? We're going to serve you from a palm leaf. (laughs) (laughs) You start getting like, man, you got got any rice? Got any beans? (laughs) Uh, Now shit in this bucket. <laughs> now, for uh, bucket shitting context, um, people would have seen in the opening, uh, but you've just spent six weeks uh, filming the latest season of Survivor. Yes. Tell yes. us a bit about that experience. <laughs> it was well. Now, I've been a huge fan of Survivor for my whole life, for like 23 years. Yeah. And I've been auditioning to get on for the last eight years. As soon as it came back in Australia for 2016, I've been auditioning every single year. So there was a break, was there? It was there, in Australia break, then? Yeah. yeah, so there was literally, it started in 2001 in Australia yep. and then they and then it didn't do very well. It got cancelled. We tend to cycle reality shows here. Like Big Brother will go away after people get sick of it and then everyone's like, we could bring that back and, and, and a whole new generation of people just get on board with it. Yeah. 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 And so I basically really wanted to get on for so long and I got really close to that very first year in 2016. 16, mm-hmm. and then I uh, did not hear back from them for about <laughs> but you, seven you years. you auditioned every year? I, every single year I put in another tape and every year I would do something slightly different. One year I was like the super fan, then the next year I was like, I work at a cinema. Then the next year I was like, I'm the family man. And so <laughs> basically building up my resume. You used this as an excuse. Yeah, this was an excuse to take steps t- in your real life. I, I, honestly, I'll tell you right now, I grew this moustache to get on the show to make my face look more interesting. Well, as I've said to previous guests, can it's I just say, face. as a fellow mustachioed man, yep. there's a fine bit of facial hair you're sporting yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that, that, that as a strat. Oh, yeah, it's the moustache strat. No one forgets a moustache. Police sketches or Survivor auditions, they'll always go, that was the guy with the moustache. <laughs> Magnum P- I mean, Tom Selleck is a moustache. You were dressed as it yeah. right I now. I am Tom Selleck <laughs> right now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, to, to get on yeah. was just amazing. And the last year, I think what really helped, the last time I, I, I auditioned for this one, I'd got married, I had a kid, I bought a house, I had all this stuff happen in one year and I was just like, there's literally nothing else for me to do except get on the show now. And they loved, <laughs> they loved some of the things that I'd done. So Rachel actually told me, my wife Rachel, um, she told me she was pregnant via a Survivor puzzle. So what? she found what? out she was pregnant, right? And then she made a Climb worksheet. Climb that totem. <laughs> There's a surprise yeah, 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 in the yeah. tub. You're just standing <laughs> on a pole in the ocean. She's pregnancy yeah. test up there. It's like, your oh son. <laughs> but she put, she put this word puzzle together. She's like, oh, look, I know you've been really busy at work and stuff. So I set this little puzzle up at home for you to do like a survivor puzzle. What? And I was doing it and it was like a word puzzle. Oh. And it said, are you ready to be a dad? Oh. And then I turn around and she's got the positive Holy. pregnancy test. I tell you right now, the producers love that. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, you were going to solve the puzzle and it said, your cum works. And then you turn around and she's got the... But it wasn't that. That's much nicer. We had a timer on the show of how far into it Peter will mention bodily fluids. I I was just about to say, what do you think changed this time that that you were successful? But... You mean the Can pregnancy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was it a, was it a certain position? Or yeah. sta- was it How standing? How did you get or? pregnant this time? <laughs> and the well, producers interestingly. Let's get into the specifics. <laughs> <laughs> 
in your audition oh, one oh, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but you put up you put up some on your social media. You put up uh, um, like thumbnails of all of your audition tapes as well through like, the years. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. many people were like, "Can you please share the audition tapes with us? Because we want to see." And you you look back eight years is a long time. Yeah, yeah. I go from a fresh faced like young man. Yeah, no greys, no mustache, <laughs> and then I'm just this withered husk now. And they're like, "Put that husk on TV." <laughs> 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 Going through their checklist, it's like, oh, we've got the, we've got like the active people, we've got the nerds, we've got. Do we have any husks in here? No, okay, let's get a husk. Have you had any experience being in and around reality TV before? No, I've I, all I've done is I've auditioned a lot, and mm. I've known what I started doing was to get to get good at auditioning. I started auditioning for heaps of game shows in Australia. Oh sure. So I was on you the One Percent Club. I was on the Weakest Link. Um, so with. What was her name? No, it no, was no, no. The this new... is this is the new week. They brought oh. this is with Magda. This is with Magda Zmanski. Okay, this cool. is back that's in still, the day. That's, that's still better. pretty good. It's yeah. still pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't yeah, win any yeah. money, but it just helped me with that audition process yeah. Yeah. and just do more of things like that and understand what kinds of things they're looking for and how you can kind of position yourself better. Exactly. Yeah. And if you know you, if you sort of know your archetype as well, mm. like yeah. that always really helps. There's going to be a producer do... behind the set being like, "I'm looking for a little bit of something different, but not." Too far this way, but not too far, like, just walking into it. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, 100%. So so was the experience of being being so familiar with the show and, and obviously, like, you will have uh, engaged with a lot of stuff in, in terms of the process of how it's made, was there anything about being on it that really surprised you that you weren't expecting just in the function of how the, the of, of how the show <laughs> of the how the show works. Yeah, it's like I knew I knew the show back to front. I'm probably the biggest fan they've had on. Like I've done things. So this is going to sound really nerdy. And no, bad, no, I love it. This but, is why um, you're here. You're <laughs> so you're I've so it, it's been in America. They're, they're up to like season forty six now in America. So it's Jesus. been around for ages. I started going on my trips overseas i would go to filming locations so i went to where they filmed the guatemala one i went to where they filmed um in the brazilian highlands wow. in, the, in, in the token teens i went there Amazing. i went to where they in thailand and so i'd go there and i have all these photos of me like where they vote people out i'm like I, hey i love I that your, like your cultural diversity your trips is like i'm going to go all around the world to where <laughs> americans were to where, <laughs> to where <laughs> film, a film crew over here the craft table would have been set up just over just, here yeah. there imagine peanut butter sandwiches there would be nut free yeah. sandwiches over here because imagine of to lose by do the you, dozens over do here. Do you do that thing where people get like photos from the yes. show and then show you like the Hold it off the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Oh exactly, my god! Exactly. <laughs> so I was re I was really really into it. So I had a really good understanding, but good. I also didn't want to go in there mm -hmm. going, "Oh, I'm the super fan. I know everything about the show," because that puts a target on your back. Sure. Yeah. First, yeah. very first Matt chat. So you get in for the very first chat. JLP, the host, comes out. I've been like smiling this whole time <laughs> and just being like, "This is amazing. I'm actually here." And JLP points at me. He goes, "This guy." You haven't stopped smiling the entire time you've been here. You must be one of the biggest fans we've ever had on the show. <laughs> I'm like, thanks for blowing up my spot, JLP. <laughs> Amazing. So, uh, yeah. You should have said, I, am a, I love the biggest loser. What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> and, and what about the experience of being on, um, on camera like so... Oh, uh, mate, on camera. So, I was so built long. to be on camera. I, I've like, been, well, look at this. Look at this. Look I've, at seen, this I've, I've, I've seen like... Um, I've seen... I was on... Uh, uh, set for Beauty and the Geek for one episode. And I, even though I thought I knew how intense reality TV was, I've just never seen that many cameras trained on so many oh. people at once. And each of them with a sound recorder behind them, just all in a line. It was just like, there, there's no there's no angle that wouldn't be covered from multiple different things. Like, yeah. it must be so intense. And it's, it's meant to look intimate and it's like... It's right, it's right in your face. And it's funny, mm. you have all the cameras there and then you like go, well, there can't be any more cameras. And then the drones come out. <laughs> the cameras are... <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something like that. Jeez. But they film all, like, all night. They film yeah. us just sleeping in the shelter, our terrible, like, terrible there shelter. There must be something kind of freeing <laughs> about giving yourself over to the fact that, like, well, I can't control anything about how I look or whatever. I'm just going to have to just... Except that, I, oh, that this yeah. is me. Yeah, it's it's warts and all, and you also yeah. don't know how they're going to edit you yeah. or anything. Yeah. So you just got to go. You, look, I'm I'm pretty comfortable with who I am and how I talk to people. Mm. And look, a lot of the time, if you say something, it can be taken out of context. Oh, but, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're not a like, if you're not a jerk, like yeah, they can't they can't make you evil. <laughs> they can make you look. They just put the evil dumb. music behind yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I feel, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, I'd yeah. be wanting to run all my sentences together so that they couldn't cut it There's halfway through. No <laughs> in the cut. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. breathe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was it like it was an absolute dream come true being on yeah. the show. And every day out there, and a lot of people after I got home. 
they were sort of saying, they're like, you know, it's so good watching you on this show because it's watching someone live out their dream every day. Aww. And it was just literally me just being like, oh, this challenge, I love this. And this is great. And now we're doing this and now we're voting someone off. And this is it so was awesome. Wild. Yeah, I, I, so I haven't cool. watched Survivor since I think the first season yep. uh, when it was such a sort of a new thing. Phenomenon, to have. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it was literally that and Big Brother was a phenomenon. So I haven't revisited it until this season because we used to work together and I was like, this is great. I've got a friend on the show I can watch. Mm. And so I was watching it. I was like, I'm loving this. And you're absolutely just exuding positivity the whole time. My quick story is that obviously for anyone who doesn't know who's watching is you didn't make it through to the, to the very end. You didn't win, yeah, but you made it pretty damn far. Like yep. you got through how many weeks? What do we took? Six weeks? Which yeah. Is, so I, I lasted 31 days. And out of how many this, contestants? There's so it's 20, 24. And mm -hmm. you got to? Like 12, like just over halfway. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, like yeah. halfway. And again, I'm there rooting for you being like, come on, I don't go out the first day, second day. Oh, okay, you. great. We've got some momentum. You're in the game now. This is fantastic. My quick anecdote is that the night you got voted out, which was a, in real time back here in the real world, was your birthday. It was it was my 40th, 40th birthday. birthday. The, the, the day episode. that it aired was my 40th birthday. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm watching the episode and I'm like, oh my God, this was the one I'm paying. I'm trying to pay attention to every episode, not knowing when you're getting voted out or if you are getting voted out because you can't tell anyone that. Again, no. this is obvious yeah. stuff. Oh, so but you I, don't even know that he hasn't won? No, all I, I've caught up with you once since all of it's wrapped. Yeah. And I was like, you can't tell me, but I, I, I'm dying to know. So I'm watching every episode thinking he could have won it. He might have got voted out the first night. I don't know. That's how it works for everyone who knows. Did he you. rock up to the cafe in a Lamborghini? Was, That's the first one. <laughs> I was in my new car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. What's up? So the episode that you're, for money. The episode <laughs> that you're at, I was watching intently. I'd also ordered some incredibly spicy Indian food and I had found myself. Oh, so, how did you manage to gust this story so <laughs> yeah. much? I was in the bathroom. Why? Horribly unwell okay. while it's playing full volume in the living room. And oh, I'm in there and no. I'm hearing the vote count. And I'm like in the bathroom, not doing well, listening to like Eden. Eden, I'm like, like, no! <laughs> you were just, you were just no. here yeah, yeah, from the bathroom. No! <laughs> I was just like horribly unwell, just hearing you slowly getting voted out. It was the, I mean, it was oh, bound to happen in the so way it was. Funny. That was about my experience as well. Yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Same feeling. I feel you. Every wow. time your name was read out, there was yeah, just it, a little it, bit it, of a bowel <laughs> movement. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. But yeah, it, uh, but a solid stretch the whole way through. Not just me yeah. in the bathroom, but you getting through <laughs> yeah. that. No, far. it was yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. It was so much, it was so yeah. much fun. I recommend it. Everyone should do it. Everyone should try. Wow. And do, do you feel like this is a pathway to other opportunities? Maybe because um, I mean I, this. I, oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is this is you go straight to the top. Get away, get on that pocket. Congratulations. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> but you've got it, mate. You've got so many shows out there. You've got Big Brother. You've got like Amazing mm. Race. Amazing Race. That's your other big one. That was my other one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Amazing Race would be so amazing. We got friends that did Amazing Race and they had a yeah. great time. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. yeah, it was yeah. They really. really people really just it. said it's amazing. It really does do its own sake. Again, me and Rachel, my wife, we um we auditioned a couple of years ago and we got all the way through to the end with that as well. Yeah. Um, to the point of they got us to like they wanted our visas like get the visas for all the countries yeah but they couldn't tell you what countries we were going to because they didn't want to spoil it <gasps> so all they told you was to get certain size photos for the visas uh -huh. so we went in to get photos done and went, they're like oh what countries we're like we don't know give us all and, yeah. and we're like this size this size this size so they took them all and then i went home and researched like what countries have what size things. Need... so i'm like south korea mongolia <laughs> no. like all these places wow. and we got all the way to the end and they said pack your bags get ready mm. and then we got cut at the very end for an influencer couple that no. they put on instead boo. and i was like who earns oh, TV's, yeah. did you really have like the tetanus so brutal, and the hepatitis man. shots and all that oh, yeah, 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 yeah it was wild <laughs> absolutely wild it's like where is hep c going off at the moment yeah. Definitely going to Vietnam. It's happening. <laughs> uh, well, it's a delight to have you on the show. Mate, We've got some fun so games planned, some fun stuff planned, so uh, we'll get to it. But first, it's a little bit of backup. Let's get serious. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No more messing Bring it back about. down. Welcome to a little bit of backup. It's the part of the show where we talk about a little bit of gaming news that's been happening or something worth talking about. And a little bit of backup is brought to us by uh, one of our favorite patrons, Reese Wild. Thank you so much, Reese Wild. It was an eagle. Actually, no. <laughs> it's a falcon. But they play it as an eagle, and everyone thinks it's an eagle sound in movies. And they do it for the MGM logo when the lion comes out. It's a different noise. <laughs> that is actually a real joke. 
was that, we'll get that. Was, that the, uh, was that the free dive from Assassin's Creed? That's free dive. It, yeah, it is. It's free it dive. is. Assassin's Creed free dive. That's what that actually is. Uh, Reese supplies us a wild animal sound, and we have to try and guess what it is. Um... It's been, contro- it's, it's been controversial. It has been controversial. There have been like, controversial. There have been well, some <clears throat> sounds that weren't wild animals. Yeah. So they sounded like, like, like wild opening animals. a can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it sounded like a tiger. <laughs> that sounds like a pig fainting. <laughs> some, were ca- some were caged. One wasn't an animal, it was a plant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? It was, I mean, which is from it's, the It wild. was flora. It was flora, not fauna. Not fauna. <laughs> <laughs> but it was I wild think flora. Yeah, the last one that I was here for was um, the otters. Thousands of otters playing a piano. (laughs) But they were caged, so they weren't wild. (laughs) That's true. All All right, let's hear that sound. (laughs) (laughs) I know who it is. Uh, Anyone else? (laughs) You recognize that sound, don't you? No. No? That's death? (laughs) It's Flea. That's a flea. It is. That's a flea. That's a flea. I can't remember the name of it. What's the Donny Thornberry? It's Donny Thornberry from the Donny Wild Thornberries. From the Wild from Thornberries. Thornberries. Yeah. Yes. But voiced famously, there it is. By Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Who the oh, hell knew that? That's great. <laughs> okay, so that technically wasn't an animal either, but I, I like that one. Yes. <laughs> is that Uluru? <laughs> yeah. And the dad voiced by Tim Curry? Tim yeah. Curry, yeah. Mm. Smashing. Yeah. Smashing. Yeah, fantastic. Thank, Thank you, Reese. Reese. And that uh, Nigel Thornbury uh, cut into the Little Mermaid splashing <laughs> is one yeah, of the great, yes, is yes, one of the great yes, internet yes. memes. So uh, yes, it all comes back around. Um, <clears throat> all right. So a little bit of backup will be on an iPad. Hand it to Stephanie right now. It's not an iPad. She had hers ready. And it I, fell asleep. I think oh. I turned it off by accident. No, oh, we're it getting happens. it. We'll happens get to there. the best of us. I, I, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, this week we're talking about uh, Marvel's Rivals, which has just been announced. Mm. Uh, NetEase Games and Marvel Games are teaming up to make a 6v6 shooter. Looks kind of overwatchy. Hero, hero shooter. Hero, sh- hero overwatchy. shooter. Looks yeah. kind of overwatchy. Um, Superhero shooter. A, a big part of uh, what they're sort of touting as the kind of thing of this game are the destructible environments. Um, and uh, sort of pretty epic post-game launch map, and you can kind of team up with other heroes to do, like, super attacks. So I mean, that's like cool. That is cool. That's new? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah Everything think... else here so, looks looks old. Looks like a game we've all played. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 <laughs> we've, we watched a video today being like, <laughs> Marvel Rivals, not, not really an Overwatch clone, and we were like, what? Pretty sure. <laughs> Pretty sure that's an Overwatch clone. <laughs> um, so Doctor Doom is going to be the main villain for the first season. Galactic, uh, Galactus. 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 Galacta. Galacta. The daughter, daughter of Galactus. Of Galactus. Oh, that really? really hard yeah. to say. I want to say Galactica because of Battlestar. Yeah. Go for it. Um, yeah. Uh, is the uh, overarching villain? Uh, there's going to be a closed alpha from May uh, with 12 of the 19 characters uh, available to play. Um, it's going to be a bit loot boxy, I think, in a, in a pretty intense way. It has yeah. potential to, based on the developers, I think, yeah, is the worry that everyone has. I think, the, yeah, the, there's people are pretty sus on this dev team and um, and how the kind of user experience and the, and the sort of health of the, the player base will be retained based on this dev's desire to kind of, like, milk people for money. And so, uh, but it is being a, a Marvel property... Maybe people just won't care. I don't know. Well, people Got want reaction? skins and stuff in Marvel. Sorry? Got Dota. reaction? Oh, gut reaction to this. Uh, I, I mean, I have very little interest because I fell off Overwatch pretty quickly and I have actually less interest in playing Marvel characters in an Overwatch setting than new characters in an Overwatch setting. Sure. So it doesn't really do much for me. Are you a Marvel fan? I do, I lo- I've, I'm a big movie fan. Yeah. As me and Gus used to work in the movies together. I, yeah. He got I out, used, I stayed in. I used to work <laughs> in the cinema. I don't think anyone knows that, actually. Yeah. So we can bring that up a few times. <laughs> so, look, I love I love Marvel stuff, but the Marvel films have definitely fallen off. Yep. Um, yep. So... I. Yeah, the the buzz isn't as as bring this out around Endgame. Oh, mama, yeah, totally yeah. Been crazy. But you yeah. you played a lot of TF two. Yep. So you played like I would argue that's like one of the early hero shooters or sort of class based shooters. Do you play much Overwatch or did you get really into? No, that I didn't novel? get into Overwatch. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that was during my 
Dota phase, <laughs> which, uh, which lasted for 12 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dota phase is not, not really a phase, is it? Yeah. Totally yeah. It's just a state of mind. Because yeah. my, my gut reaction to this straight away was that it's an Overwatch clone. Yeah. And I loved OG Overwatch, haven't fell off for two. And I was like, oh, this is exactly a carbon copy just with the skin or a skin swap for Marvel. But the more I watched that and the more I went, Marvel heroes, I'm opposite to you. I actually think that looks awesome getting to play around with their powers. I think Loki, one of the heroes, just does a full... Uh, character swap. That's his thing. He can just turn into someone else and use all their powers. Morphling. That's great. Yeah, yeah. more morph. Yeah, morph. Yeah, morph. Yeah. 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 Good. No one we'll be able to relate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be able to relate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dota, Good. Whatever. But, but so, <laughs> see, you mentioned there's a character in, in Dota who does that. Yeah, yeah. So how does that how is that balanced? Probably isn't. How is that balanced? <laughs> so the thing about Dota is, and we're not talking about Dota. What? The thing about Dota is, why would you ask? It's not Dota balanced. Why would somebody please think of the balance? That's where you got to get patches. That's where everything's got to get patched. But yeah, it is. Yeah. How is that balanced? How, it's not. Uh, right, okay. Okay. And it's potentially the same thing here. In fact, that whole game might not be balanced and they're like pay to win, pay to, you know, pay to play, pay to win kind of thing. Because yeah. Of the controversy okay. around it. But I don't know. By the end of it, I was like, shit, I didn't think that would be cool, but I really like that and it looks really fun. Yeah, I think like, yeah. I think anyone who has enjoyed Overwatch, would be, you'd be hard pressed to not have a fun time in that if it plays as well as Overwatch because it looks good. Sure. Um, and yeah, those, those characters from what we've seen there's like a diverse group of play styles I and mean, that's the that's the magic of overwatch as well is that you can be a tank and there's classes built around tankiness hmm. but do you playing think- as the hulk is going to feel way different yeah. to being iron man flying around everywhere shooting from above you know mm. uh it's it's interesting but do you think the fact that people have kind of fallen off overwatch 2 is an indication that that this kind of genre of game is just not quite popular at the moment I don't think it's the genre. I mean, that was how Activision Blizzard handled it. And then we even heard, I think today or yesterday, it's that they're cancelling the PvE in Overwatch 2, which is another mm. new story in itself. But essentially, yeah. they're botching a lot of the decisions that they made with Overwatch 2. So I feel that's just being that's just a game that's being handled poorly versus the hero shooter is still fun at its core. It is, you know, it's when it's balanced well and when it's built fresh and it's a new experience, I think they all tend to have a, a strong appeal. I really like them. I just think... You know, you need to have a cool IP and a cool property, and Marvel is that for me. So, mm, although yeah. I don't know who Sword Woman is, an Ice Lady, I think they're relatively new. <clears throat> uh, Luna Snow, never heard of her. <laughs> well, she's a South Korean K-pop obsessed hero with ice powers. Good and what is this? Oh, a raccoon and a tree? No, 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 no. <laughs> that, no that, that, that'll, that'll never, never fly. fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do have a, a bit of extra context, though, for this dev um, uh, with a tweet from a game dev, I think one of the, the artist, art, yeah. art, um, artists on the game. They said, I remember working, with this, uh, working on this with NetEase over COVID. They did not pay us for the work. I did at the end, and it was one of the most directionless projects I've ever had the misfortune of working on. Feedback boiled down to, look at this other thing and copy it. <laughs> At one point, the reference image provided was literally a piece of concept art that was trending on ArtStation. This goes out to all the other younger artists in the industry. Don't ever do free art tests. If you're good enough, then you deserve to be paid for your, for your time. Any work you do during these tests are, the, are company properties and they just could use it in the end. <laughs> Put that on the box. <laughs> <laughs> they did not pay me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think it's rock. There's two previous Marvel games that they worked on, which have I think started strong, but then fell to a lot of microtransactions. So people have yeah, they're caution. They're cautious for good reason. I think mm-hmm. at this point, but. Yep. Isn't it fun when things are new and fresh and aren't ruined, and you can try and enjoy them? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I mean, it's like it's so sadly indicative of how this industry works at the moment that. A game gets announced and on that very day there are um, people who worked on the game saying how fucked the industry is that I worked on this game and didn't get paid for it mm-hmm. and yeah. and the actions taken by the people that wanted to develop the game don't sound like they're consumer-friendly focuses anyway. So it's like, uh, it, ta- mm. it always takes a wind out of the sails of a big announcement, which, mm. you know, this being a Marvel game uh, and a, a hero shooter should be one of the big announcements of the year, but yeah. uh, I, I know it's a really mixed reaction. So. Wait, you play as Bruce Banner before you're the Hulk? I, I, I what talked the to fuck? Will obviously. Will <laughs> obviously just seems, really, yeah. doing science. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, yeah. I was you like, why would you, you ever be Bruce? You, you Hulk out. You Hulk out in the game. Yeah, yeah but like, but like, why would you be the Hulk? What's, what's, what are you doing? Yeah, are you? I guess that's his ultimate ability. I don't know. What are you doing before does, that? Don't does he have a gun? 
Yeah, he's got a little phaser. He, he apparently he's got a little phaser. He just like a little hides. Green, a little green he phaser. hides. <laughs> the whole he hides game. just going, come just, on, yeah, man. Come on. Man. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Get angry. Get angry. <laughs> uh, but and yeah. then he sees the tweet about the artist not getting paid. <laughs> 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 I'm just disappointed. <laughs> he has a gamma gun. Oh, he has a gamma <laughs> gun, everyone. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, good. Because the gamma yeah. is in the gun. Oh, good. The gamma is in uh, the gun. I'll be interested to see how how people um <laughs> how people enjoy how people enjoy the game and if it's they're willing to kind of like go hard on the down the microtransaction route because yeah. I'm look just I, from, you know, from the look, there's a, there's you, you buy big, hats. <laughs> oh dude, I bought a lot of hats. <laughs> I mean we are, we, if, if we've both spent a lot of hours in Dota, I'm sure we spent a lot of money on a free game. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. Remember you don't have to pay for Dota. No, no, mate. That's like, free. This that's, is free to play. Yeah, exactly. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah good. But okay. uh, you know, I, I don't have a problem spending money and get I, I understand the, the the problem of it being like there's a, there's a, an addictive element to keeping up with the like the new trending mm. cosmetics and stuff mm. that're getting released. I mean, I don't think they're going to go the route of doing anything other than cosmetics. What you don't need to if you're Marvel, you sell the skins from yeah. the multiverse and you yeah. you make mint. On their but... previous games, their microtransactions were pay to win. They were currencies. They were power ups. <coughs> they were things that impacted the gameplay. So that's the yeah. caution. With but this but one. I yeah. believe the other games were mobile games. A very different marketplace. That's true. Mm. They're mm. like. <laughs> They're all really predatory mobile games for the most part. That I think they'll understand that they're playing with a different audience here. Not that that excuses the, what they've done in the past, but mm. I think they would find a lot of success in just releasing cosmetics. But it still feels predatory, yeah, because it's mm. asking you to pay. They're going to be asking you to pay thirty bucks to get the coolest Iron Man skin ever, and people are going to pay it. Yeah, um, and where, who? Where does it lie? But you, can, you almost come back to the gambling thing of like the incentive being dangled in front of your face constantly that's the predatory behavior it's mm. it's just yeah. chipping away at people's willpower constantly yeah. so yeah yeah it's it feels unfair yeah well but, sigh you look cool <sighs> we'll, we'll find out in may i guess mm. uh, that was a little bit of backup thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> The segments announce themselves now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's move on with what we've all been playing. It's a segment in the show where we talk about some games that we've been playing over the last week. And as usual, this segment is brought to us by Nicrotex. He's all, Surrounded he's somewhere. Uh, and we have a segment sponsored by Nicrotex. We read a tweet from Nick Belling on Nicrotex. Uh, and I've got a doozy here today that comes in from March 3rd. Nick Belling doozy. writes. Doozy. It's a real doozy. <clears throat> Nick writes... Just because people keep asking questions. Me and sleep are in a bit of a rough point in our relationship. We frequently have fights at night and don't see each other. And then she comes over in the middle of the day and fucks my brains out. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Nico, I hope you're sleeping well. I heard you bought a what that weird cooling sleeping mattress thing. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, they were really keen to buy. Have you seen those water-cooled mattresses? It's Water beds. Huge- no, it's not water bed. It's like a, no. it's like a thing that goes. It's a like you know how PCs cover, have PC cooling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's that. Yeah. It's that, but for your bed. For your bed. Yeah. I don't know if it's working. If uh, Nico's in the chat, let us know, or if anyone knows, uh, have heard reports. But clearly, it's not working <laughs> uh, at the moment. So a cooling gel layer says Jake. All right, well there we got one of those for our dog. Oh, she hates it. Yeah, I leave my own layer of cooling. Gel. You know what? I'm not going to finish no, that. I wouldn't. Uh, but but it's, not, it's not like it's. The gel it doesn't do anything. It just exists, and it's apparently like it just kind of repels heat. But like, I thought it was like no, it it's pumps, more about it's pumping something through it. Well, no, that, that's the dog. The dog, the dog bed is. Oh, but, the, but is this gel. one is. But this one is like actively like cooling with power. It's an active gel. It's an active gel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not one of those lazy it, gels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's an activated gel. Pete Evans put it in his oven. Bed. Gel. <laughs> Pete, Pete, he's got it. <laughs> Uh, These Pete Evans references, yeah, yeah, yeah. are they still, <laughs> are they still, still funny? Okay. Yeah, still still works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, good luck with your sleep, Narcotex, and thanks for sponsoring the segment. Uh, let's go around the room and talk about the games, and probably the biggest game this week was a one you were playing, Stephanie. You want to tell us about it? Yes, Arisen. Mm. I will tell you about Dragon's Dogma 2. <gasps> oh, All in this voice. I uh, loved the first Dragon's Dogma. Um, I, I feel like it was... Uh, really kind of unique game at the time in in being an open world fantasy game that had uh, kind of this strange mechanic of recruiting these pawns, which are like these kind of traveling people that live to, they're kind of like just lackeys that kind of live to serve you, the chosen by fate adventurer hero, the Arisen. 
and um, uh, you kind of go throughout the game collecting different pawns who have different skills and stuff and they would apply all of these like funny little voice lines to them. The funniest thing about the original too is that they didn't want to record that many voice lines or different voices. I think they just had like one or two and they just used a pitch slider to make them <laughs> sound different. <laughs> so some, some pawns you'd recruit and they'd go, hello, Risen! <laughs> and then another one would be like, there's danger, I heard a Risen. <laughs> <laughs> And they're constantly talking. They're constantly talking. They have kind of just like random auto lines telling you about stuff that's ha happening in the game, reflecting about life, giving you advice. It, you know, it, it can be very annoying, but also very funny. They've updated all of those kind of mechanics for this sequel. I wouldn't say it's wildly different from the original. It just feels like the fully fleshed out version of what they wanted the first game to be. And obviously it looks a lot better being made today. Um, the the character creator was released prior to the game, which is such a great marketing idea because the character creator is amazing. You have full range of, uh, you know, adjusting every aspect of your face and teeth and, you know, all these different kinds of things. And so I spent about two hours in the character creator, <laughs> had my character ready to go. Um, and, then the, and then after the sort of opening cutscene and things play out, you then have to create your first pawn. So you can... Um, Make any kind of character that you want. And obviously something that people love to do is create characters that exist in other properties. So very quickly, I, I went into the Rift um, to have a look at what other pawns people have made because you can recruit other players' pawns. And people will try and make pawns that you can, um, uh, I think, vote and kind of put on a leaderboard rankings. and get yeah, rankings yeah, 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 yeah. and stuff. Um, so uh, you have like your friends list pawns and then you have like random ones that you can look for. And you can also look for different personality traits because you can set your pawn to be... Um, Timothy you know, Chalamet? Chalamet? <laughs> we, is that who we're looking at here? I'm I guessing this is, might not be your footage, but we're definitely seeing a Chalamet uh, th here. This is, um, no. th this is not Chalamet. No, no, no. They're, oh, this, oh, this character here? Oh, I'm not sure. <clears throat> um, but uh, there's, there's so, some <laughs> weird um, infected blight in the water, so... <laughs> If you if you go in the water, you kind of get taken under. And this scene was That's early they did not want to make a swimming animation. And the pawn, the pawn was just like, "Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just need to go go on ahead, and uh, you know you could call me back from the rift." And so then you just watch him go like, "Bye." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. It was a very funny scene. Um, so, <laughs> so um, uh, yeah, you could give them to different personality traits to either be like really adventurous and gung-ho and they kind of always run forward or they can be cautious and more calculating. You can have some that are just more worried about you and keeping you healed and, and that affects the kind of di lines of dialogue they have as well. So um, I, I quickly came across uh, Gandalf and a whole bunch of other characters and stuff. Because um, the system's there to impl in, like to make a party. Yeah. That it's like a, this a is a, it's a generic party, yeah. fantasy story. So they're saying travel as a group. Like yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. There's something really wonderful about like recruiting your friends' characters and stuff because you get very attached to the um, the pawns that you that you uh, create or um, you know just find or whatever. But so knowing that I have my friends' characters. Like my friends' pawns in, in my party makes me feel like I've got a little piece of them traveling with me. Yeah. And then I'll be like, man, Biscuit is a legend. I, I, I really, I, I had a great time with Biscuit. I think uh, you're onto a real winner there. Like, I, I, and they'll be like, I know. Is it, uh, yesterday I was just like traveling with Biscuit and they found this thing for me and I was just like, you're awesome. And I'm, Classic I'm like, Biscuit. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, well, yeah we got to upvote Biscuit so more people get, more people get uh, you know, the joy of, of, of Biscuit in their party. The craziest thing about this sequel, which I didn't know about um, and kind of uh, through the Discord chat um, among my friends discovered, is they have introduced this, and it, they tell you about it in the game, I just don't read anything. There is this, and I guess this is technically a spoiler for people who don't like, want to have any kind of information about the sort of plot or grander mechanics of the game, so maybe don't listen if this is what you want. <laughs> there is a... There is a plague that exists in, Dragon Dog in Dragon's Dogma 2 called the Dragon's Plague. And Dragon's it, and, Blight? Uh, no? Okay. No, it's, it's Dragon's Plague. Okay. Um, and uh, it, it infects pawns. And so uh, the first kind of symptom of it is they sort of get these red eyes. And um, what happens is they'll start to kind of just go out on their own. They won't listen to the Arisen and stuff. They'll do their own thing. Um, and then eventually they'll kind of transform into this dragon creature that just starts fucking murdering everyone. Okay. The plague can be transferred from pawn to pawn, from player to player. So if I recruit a pawn through the rift, 
from someone else that is infected with Dragon's Plague, <laughs> they can then infect all of my pawns, which right. will then wipe out a an entire village. And because of the way the save structure works in the game, you can manually save, but you can't reload past saves. So if that happens and entire villages are, are fucking wiped, there's nothing you can do about that. There's no spell you could create to cover yourself in some kind mm -hmm. of like sheath or shield or <laughs> something to protect you? It, no. No, oh, that's awkward. So, so, <laughs> so it, 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 yeah, it's it's just really intense and confronting. And I, I, I had recruited this one pawn. It was the last pawn actually I recruited to my party. And I was like, oh, she seems kind of spunky. She like cool white hair and like red, red eyes. eyes. <laughs> yeah. and I, like, I, the mouth. I like I like walked around. I w walked around with everyone. I was like just about to set out, and then all of a sudden I had this memory triggered of just like seeing a post in the thing. Yeah. And people were like, whoa, holy shit! But I kind of read it as I was walking, and I and I didn't really take it all in. And I suddenly was like, and I went back and I like read through and I was just like, oh my God. And I was like, she's, she's infected, she's infected. And I was like, get her out, get what her I out. Do, and I was just like, what are you, what are you was, that, was that fast enough? Like how quick does the infection spread? Like do I, I, was, I started looking at all my other pawns and I'm just like, how do you feel? Like, is it, are, you, are, you, like are you kind of a little bit hot or something? Like what's going on? I'm like checking all their eyes. They're like, you going, what the fuck is wrong yeah. with her? They're like, I think she's <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so they were saying that. That's wild. That's right. Uh, it can also be contracted through combat interactions with different dragons. Um, uh, and spreads between party members. If left unaddressed, uh, yeah, they, they, they cause the deaths of, of scores of, um, of residents. Um, it, it's an incurable plague. Consuming traditional flasks of curative items cannot cure the disease. Oh. The main pawn needs to, the main pawns need to be killed, while the support pawns hired by the player can quickly be dismissed. Um, this is only the, this is the only effective way of preventing the spread of the disease, but it cannot actually be cured. So you need to kill wow. your own pawns to get rid of it. You need to call wow. all your pawns and tell them that you might have it too. Yeah. It's mainly yeah. the big... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To keep the... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. Yeah. We were, um, it, and it's such a... It's such a cause, especially because any... Any game where you like recruit NPCs or you recruit companions and stuff like that, you, I, I get so emotionally invested and like attached yeah. to them and stuff. The thought of having to like murder them as the only way to like f save people from this like horrendous disease is so like horrifying to me. My yeah. understanding is that they've they there's a back end tool that's ramping the uh, frequency of occurrence of this disease. The more people that finish the game. Oh really? I, I, what, that's it, that's what I saw. It is increases that, the yeah, chances. Yeah, it's becoming more and more common it, as yeah, people finish. Yeah. Which I assume is tied to the story, which I haven't touched on. But I remember the first one was like a dragon brings you back to life and challenges you to come and kill it. And so then as you go, it you just build up a crew and then you yeah. And it's, this is a bit of the same story wise. Same stuff. Yeah, yeah. Ish. I think I think um a little bit like pandemic. It's kind of um it's trying to create a model that rep, like that replicates maybe how disease becomes more and more prolific the more and more people mm. are kind of exposed and stuff like that. That's cool. You know, um, some, uh, somebody else mentioned in Discord, it's a little bit like that weird sort of social test they did with that um, wow, that disease in wow, that plague in wow. Do you remember that? I really remember yeah. hearing about that it, one, It yeah. was kind of like it, they wanted to kind of model how things are spread and show an example of how, you know, people interact so quickly. Mm. And it was just completely just destroyed it wow yeah it ran rampant and it went way like kind of broke the game way faster than they thought it was going to well, that was, i mean that was unintentional right that was a debuff that got applied to someone that yes got spread mm. they yeah. got spread yeah yeah, yeah. Was, but, yeah but they uh, sorry, the sorry yes yeah. you're right but they yeah. use that as a way to kind of model the way disease works and how yeah. prolific it can be yeah. when people kind of interact with each oh, other funny. so beyond the magical fantasy sti that we're talking about <laughs> yes like, is this game any good like fantasy high, like you know capcom <laughs> eastern <laughs> developer doing a western fantasy is yeah. it ticking those boxes uh, for you I, i'm really enjoying it um yeah. i feel like the um it's very like dungeony in terms of like you 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 go through like traditional kind of linear landscapes and then you find these kind of caves that are that are quite dungeony and it's quite um difficult right. sort of combat wise but if you've if you've got your party well set and your um pawns kind of quite balanced then yep. that's then that's working well for you so it's not a big open world it's region to region town to town uh, making your way through the map basically yeah i think so uh it felt quite linear when I was sort of playing through it, but it was yeah, also okay. at the beginning of the game, sure. so maybe it opens mm. up a bit more after yeah. that. Yeah, I, I, um, I really enjoyed the first one, but it, it did feel janky even when I played it because it was like, it felt double A kind of thing. Yeah. Or it felt like, yeah, Capcom's engine at that point. But <clears throat> yeah. this, I, I'm 
really keen to play this when I've got some time because it does look like it's souls like freedom mixed with cool yeah Western fantasy and the and the um the way the characters control is really enjoyable the way you can kind of climb and move on things mm -hmm. the um uh the Coolest mechanic I remember. About we the should first point one. out animals and creatures, not just a ladder. That they yeah, have they have so perfectly timed. Perfectly timed. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. Yeah. mantle over like rocks and climb on stuff like Shadow that. Shadow of the Course is uh, kind of climbing. But, yeah. but, but yes, yeah. that was the coolest thing about the first game was that um, yeah, you you're kind of fighting sort of big creatures and stuff, and then you can use a kind of climbing mechanic to sort of scale them and, and then just like lay into them. And it was a griffin who would like take off. Yeah, while yeah, you were yeah. You're just kind of going for it. It's really, really awesome. Um, it's also uh, quite uh, free in, in terms of how you um, change your class and stuff like that. You can change your class and, and yeah, change cool. the way you like play the game, um, which I always really like because if you choose a class from the start yeah. and you're kind of locked into that and you don't enjoy it, it's really difficult halfway through to be like, oh God, I, you know, I just kind of have to play the rest of the game this way mm. and, and not feel like I can kind of Come experiment with different things. Um, yeah, Jill, careful. It, it obviously like looks a lot better, which makes a huge difference. And... Uh, I'm just really genuinely interested in this, the story of it. I think Definitely. the voice acting is really good with the exception of the pawns because the pawns are like a, an experiment in AI, basically. It's like, They're you know, bots. when you see videos of like two computers talking to each other yeah. and it's just like, wow, well, I really don't think that you should talk to me that way. And also it is interesting to note that, you know, it's like, that's how they talk to each other. And sometimes when they're having conversations back and forth, you're just like, Sh shut up. Do yeah. <laughs> so so you want to kill them? If yeah. they, they're like, oh, he's so, yeah. Yeah, 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 he definitely has it. Yeah, yeah. crazy eyes. Yeah, so yeah. it's interesting you should mention that. I was going to ask, you playing this on console or PC? A PC, yeah. So PC, uh, there's been a couple of stories about how it's, the optimization isn't fantastic and some people have run into some massive CPU problems like chugging even on really good rigs. Uh, yeah. But then people pointed out online that that has something to do with the back end to do with the NPC um, behavior and mm. the there's so much them. happening. There was so yeah. much happening. So people's playthroughs are now involving mass wiping out of villages and NPCs to make it run better. To make it run, run better. With every yeah. kill. So apparently, yeah, people have been going on massacres just to get the frame rate down, which is that's, on top of the uh, disease, yeah. I'm like, this game is... Sorry, my PC isn't good enough. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to do this, but That's I can't afford to upgrade my graphics card. Yeah. 60 frames per second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, have, I haven't wow. encountered anything like that, but um, yeah. uh, I think in the cities, it, ten it tends to be where Wait that... Wait till you get to yeah, the big city. Yeah, the big city. Spread that play. Yeah, but it, yeah, it's, it's, it's really... It's fun. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's... Um, it, it's enough that, that I really kind of want to continue and, um, and, and sort of see it through because it's, it's just really, it's, it's fantasy that feels really fun and it doesn't feel like other games that, that are out there because it has just a, these kind of few core things yeah. that's, that's I, set apart. I also have a massive soft spot for East, or like Capcom and like Eastern developers doing Western fantasy. That's sure, what Dark yeah. Souls, I love. They like, they have such an interesting yeah. take on it. They do it like so traditionally that it almost doesn't feel it's, as... It's, it's the dialogue. And I, and cause I play a lot of Final, Final Fantasy online, obviously. Yeah. Like yeah. I have never heard fancier English than in, than in, you know, like <laughs> Asian developed games. Yeah. Like they always use, like I have to have a dictionary next to me when I'm playing <laughs> these games because there's just a million. Uh, yeah, 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 it's cra it's it's. But it adds it adds a level of like yeah sort of yeah just disconnect from the traditional Western fantasy that I think we're also used Ought to. Ought is the word that they overuse in Dragon's Dogma. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, we um uh I know ought must be difficult for you. It's like what? Come again? That's not even <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, it's um. It's it's wild though this disease thing. I'm just very. Um, <laughs> I want to hear back. Yeah, like, yeah. Is it getting worse? Have they found a way to cure? Uh, is there a cure? I just yeah. I, I, the first person whose town just got totally annihilated. I just I can't even imagine. But they didn't even notice their frames just went up. Yeah. And they're like, hey, this is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Look it up. Hey, hey guys, point, actually, guys, look what's. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe that was yeah. the thing where they were in the they were in that sort of stage of development where they were like look, we really need to try and get the performance of this game Let's working better. And someone's like, Damn. I've got a crazy idea. Yeah. <laughs> Kill them all. Kill Just them all. Just don't be crazy enough Wipe to win. Them out. Uh, yeah. Very cool. That's Dragon Sogma 2. Um, I've been checking out a little indie game that I've been hanging out for, for to play since I got the demo in the Steam Next Fest. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually doesn't come out till tomorrow, but I got my hands on Pepper Grinder, uh, which is a 2D side-scrolling uh, pixel art platformer, which is... Uh, very up my alley in terms of fast pace action platforming. Um, this I think got a lot of um, a lot of love during the Next Fest demo. You play a uh, little girl. I'm going to assume her name is Pepper. 
Uh, and she uh, lands on an island and finds uh, this drill device, which becomes your weapon, your uh, ability, your um, <laughs> yeah, your uh, I mean, your, key to, <laughs> your key to a bunch of cool uh, power-ups. Uh, but it is a really sort of basic by the numbers platformer that relies heavily on a cool. Uh, mechanic being this drill uh, or this grinder, I guess, uh, and how it uh, lets you move through these. I've seen that up on your phone as well. You've had this totally. For ages. Yeah, I've been yeah. grinding like crazy at the moment. It's going <laughs> great. Um, so <laughs> uh, it is, yeah, a pretty by the numbers platformer <laughs> in the sense that it is a great little art style, uh, difficult, uh, punishing but rewarding play style. Uh, very minimal story. You just sort of land on this island. You lose all your treasure, and she sets off to destroy all these little creatures and traverse these levels. It's very satisfying to watch. It's, yeah. it's tricky to master, but really satisfying. Sorry, it's tricky to start with, but satisfying to master. Uh, and uh, it is traditional platformer. You've just got a, a map open world that you navigate with a bunch of stages on it, and there's really not much uh, complexity to the story. There are some cool little puzzles and some interesting stage de designs later on. Um, that actually really surprised me. There's some really clever, and I won't spoil them, um, little power-ups mm. that you get that change how you play. It feels very much... I was getting lots of hints of um, Celeste, uh, if anyone played that, which is a mm. fantastic, super difficult platformer. Um, little bits of Celeste, little bits of Super Meat Boy, uh, and little bits of um, Rayman Legacy. That uh, yeah. I think uh, oh, yeah. right, the Good Rayman call. side-scrolling reinvention series used a lot of this, which is like once you start moving the through the burrowing, yeah, 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 you yeah. can't <laughs> slow down. Um, and look, it is really satisfying 90% of the time, but there is a kind of, how do I put it? You were ejected from your drilling with a bit of an oomph out the other end. Mm -hmm. And because it's all, you have to play this with a controller, because it's all thumbstick controls, it's very easy to sort of come out on the wrong trajectory and completely mess up your run. Mm. Now that's fine, and that's fun in games that are made to be hard platformers. Um, the only thing that I think this game does wrong, and it's the only thing, because it's a fantastic game and I recommend everyone tries it, um, is that it's... Uh, it has a health system that you can see up in the top left, a traditional just health bar system, mm. which I'm happy to just point, not happy to point out, but I'm, I will confidently say is a bad decision for, as a game design mechanic. Mm. It, in traditionally, Confidence. all these kind of games are one hit deaths, mm -hmm. quick restart, bash your head against a wall until you get through this moment. They've gone for a more traditional health system here, which doesn't play mm. very well because the hitbox on your character is very difficult to sort of distinguish. Uh, the weapon and when you are holding it and aiming it is really hard to sort of... The uh, drill? The drill, it's kind of because it's floating on you like a, a thumbstick. It's sort of hard yeah. to know when you're aiming it uh, correctly at an enemy. Um, and again, the hitbox on her is really strange. That getting hit animation kind of throws you off and you go flashing red and you bounce around. Yeah. And the reason I find it doesn't work is because the way the game is laid out, it's done in just little checkpoints, little lanterns throughout this linear stage. And so as you get to each lantern, your health doesn't regenerate. So you get to a lantern and you might have one bar of health. So you may as well just die and respawn with all your health to head off again. Uh, because uh, what you'll do is what I did <coughs> is you'll have one bar of health. You'll make it all the way to the and next lantern and you'll just die and you'll come back with all your health. So I was like, that's one thing that annoys me about it. The yeah, second okay. is when you're doing some of these just, really... Yeah, it just seems functionally irrelevant. because it you totally yeah, is. Because you, you yeah. have your four lives and then you... But every time you go back to that point anyway. You have so, all your four yeah. lives. The other thing that really throws me off is when you're doing some bits later on, which are really technical. Uh, we're talking like barrel blasting style from Donkey Kong Country. It's like yes. you need to like time that with that, with that, with that. Mm. And you have to get through this really, really fast paced run. It's super satisfying, don't get me wrong. But the fact that if you hit something on that run, you don't just die and reset and have another go. You take damage and you bounce off awkwardly and you try to string it back. You try to sort of re-hook shot and you yeah, hit something yeah. again, you bounce off again. It's a really unsatisfying controller smashing mm. frustration loop where you should just die. You should just go, yeah. you mess it up, have another go. You mess it up, have another go. We're used to that now in these super difficult platformers. Whereas you get this kind of like bouncing around the screen. I wouldn't point it out as a huge flaw but the game does one thing criminally wrong, which is um, <laughs> awesome stages. It's not huge, but it is criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Great level design. Imprison cool. these developers. <laughs> Great level design, really cool bosses at the end of each stage. They're all designed as little puzzles, all that kind of thing. One of the worst 
end bosses I've ever run into. Oh. I'm not going to spoil it, but it just suddenly ramps the difficulty up so high oh. and, it, and plays in a style that is nothing really like the game you've just spent all the time playing that I really wanted to try and beat it to, to have a conversation about it tonight and see mm. if it was worth it. There might even be more game beyond that, but I'm not going past it, unfortunately. There is a, an end boss that is in the second phase, just feels poorly designed, and I shouldn't, it shouldn't bring the rest of the game down. It doesn't. This is a really, really fun platformer, and 90% of it, I had a ball playing. I really love this fast-paced kind of action, uh, and as I said, when it's working and you're not going wigging out, uh, it is just a, it's just a, yeah. I don't know. I kind of see the point of their lives now. <laughs> of the health. I kind of see the point of going, okay, we've put bombs in your path here. We're not going to punish you for making one mistake. You have to make a few mistakes between this lantern for us to send you back to the... Like, there. If you had gone back to the post there... Yeah. I was about to say, I... I, I, I kinda, I'm used to that, The though, more I see your yeah. footage, the more I'm like, mm, this is good. I, I, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, maybe to watch, but the feeling of it did not feel as good as, like, I would have happily well, just taken... it perfect. I would have been yeah. like, yeah. die, you try You want to master... Yeah. Try yeah. Yeah. I hate, yeah. I hate yeah. die, yeah. try again. That's oh, like my... I'm just... I'm so used to That's my idea of, like, true madness. It's just... I guess. I just... There are so many games out there that are like that. I mean, I guess Celeste... is a point of difference, I think Celeste does have two hits, actually. She might have two little health. Like Donkey Kong Country. As long as you've got a partner, they die. That's true. You just... Yeah. <laughs> but outside of that, yeah, it's a really, really beautiful game. The soundtrack's fantastic. Look how much health you have now! <laughs> so I, I bought a... sick! You can go to this little store and buy a bunch of health boosts that only are for that one run. Right. I find that really works well for the boss runs. Um, again, the game so comes out tomorrow, like so... like the health system. He's got me there. I'm, I'm, I'm grading your health bar over there, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, but all this kind of stuff, all the, the flowy movement of, uh, is just really, really fun. It just feels great. Uh, I was playing it on PC, but it is coming to Switch, not to consoles but i think it'd be great on um on a switch or yeah anything with thumbsticks it's made for that kind of fluid movement and yeah i i love these little time kills i would say yeah it's on the shorter side but i don't think it's hugely expensive so it's definitely worth a couple of afternoons if you like this style of gameplay and i do but i want it to be harder <laughs> okay i think is where i'm landing on that yeah i don't know if everyone saw yeah. um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've convinced the room, but I'm pretty convinced. Are there, are there difficulty settings? I don't believe so. No. No. Mm. So uh, if you if you do play and enjoy it, you should check out the controller that Rudism made. Rudism is a Kiwi who makes um like custom controllers for a bunch of different things, basically just meme controllers. He makes them non-traditionally. He, he, he was he, he once, he once so, played yeah, yeah. Farming Simulator with a tractor, a real tractor. <laughs> He, oh, he's probably. played, like, it started with him, like, just putting, uh, like, sensors in bananas and hitting bananas for the <laughs> button and stuff. Right. But it's become, he was, uh, he was um, commissioned to make this, which is a literal pepper grinder attached to a drill. Uh, and oh. um, he sent this across to the Kind of Funny team and they, they streamed themselves playing pepper grinder. Uh, and Skip to the end, Josh. We don't need to see the whole thing. This is mad. <laughs> oh, uh, but yeah, Pepper Grinder, really fun kind of like weekend game. Like I mm. did, in two sessions, I feel like I got most of the game under my belt and I love that little like scratch from uh, that scratches that nostalgic sort of pixel-based games. Yeah, I feel like fun. I just want to have it on the TV in the background as like a weird meditational thing. Just I just watching want just watching it. Yeah, there's, there's, there's through something it. really. There you go. Holy yeah. shit. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Does it serve <sighs> Pepper? Does it serve? Yeah. <laughs> Must still be functional as a pepper grinder. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Uh, Peter. Bears. In space. Oh, <laughs> you have my soul. <laughs> uh, Bears in Space is an Aussie game uh, developed by a very small team of three over the last seven years. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a boomer shooter. Love them. Uh, but to me, immediately was reminiscent of... Um, that rare era of game design as well where every character is a memorable character uh every opportunity for a gag was a, an opportunity taken um they're almost there's a gag a second and there are almost too many um to to really like digest uh but it is a um first person shooter it is pc only so it is very much a keyboard and mouse shooter uh and platformer uh and you are playing through a very linear story. The setup is that you are a uh, like space cadet ranger 
just days before retirement uh, and you've been, forgive me for getting this wrong, but it's something along the lines of there are bears in space and you have one captive on your ship. Your ship gets attacked by the Mother Earth sign ship and as it is crashing, for some reason, as you're trying to escape, your DNA merges with the bear that's on the ship. Oh, wow. Named Bear Tana. Now, this game is like... There's, no not no a, there's not a thing in this game that isn't a reference. Is, is, is Bear Tana <laughs> to the Simpsons, a, to... sex, a sexy bear? Cortana? Well, yeah, it's called Cortana reference. It's, it, it, the bear's not sexy because I'm not into that kind of thing. Sure. But some people may find it sexy. And a paper grinder, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but uh, functionally, it, it is that this character, this bear character, uh, has merged with the DNA but is your um, is the voice inside your head and guiding you. Uh, and it does um, it does come into the gameplay in that most of the game is you running around with guns, fighting robots, uh, playing through cool, fun levels. Like, mm -hmm. it's all just playfully designed. It's not, like, a story that, that's self-important in any way. Um, I couldn't even tell you really what the story is except that I have bear paws. Um, and I'm trying to punch my way through robot waves to, to escape and, you know, kind of find a semblance of my old life. Tale as old as time. Tale as old as time. The movement is fast. Are you yeah. playing this fast? <clears throat> yeah, this is how fast you play the game. Okay. I mean, yeah, key, keyboard and mouse reader. That's not how fast I would play the game. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can it. yeah. It's like anytime, I, anytime I'm playing a shooter and then I'm like, I'm going to raid someone else who's playing this game and then like... <laughs> The, the jump between my footage and their footage is like, whoa. Yeah, I mean, people who like playing Doom, people who like playing Quake, Quake right, yeah. and like, yeah, I mean, any of those kinds of shooters uh, will feel right at home. And the fact, I mean, for me, as a, um, an Australian <laughs> male in his 30s, understands every single reference that these developers have put into the game. It's, yeah, nice. it's all the things that we grew up with. Uh, it's... They're obviously inspired by the games that they grew up with, which are the games that I was growing up with. <laughs> uh, and I mean, Serious Sam absolutely is written all mm -hmm. over this as well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and so, like, the important parts of this are that it is fun moment to moment. It is fun moment to moment because there's a gag around every corner. Um, the, the levels are really linear, but you are rewarded for exploring because you find little side missions that are different every time. It's like... There's a detective story. There's a basketball match that you participate in. There's a, a pool party that you you dress up and and start, and then all the robots have a pool party. And it's like it's absurd <laughs> humor, and it is relentless in how many jokes are in it. That it, even if one joke doesn't work for you, the next one you're about to run into will. Yeah. Um, so That's awesome. it, it just is. It is looks super freaking stylish. Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. That is an amazing <laughs> reference. <laughs> Do you does this scratch uh, an itch more than is it High on Life, which is yeah, a so game that feels similar but obviously mm -hmm. isn't. High, high on Life, I think, is um, it benefits from uh, <laughs> uh, being a, a graphically more advanced game and probably feeling a little more polished uh, around most of the edges. But this plays really nicely, it which looks like uh, it, yeah. is important to me and has some really fun interesting things in it and i think the comedy works for me on a on a more consistent level i i do like uh i don't like justin roiland the man but i like some of the projects that he's worked on in that i you know i i did like rick and morty that didn't happen to me uh, uh, that's a bit, <laughs> um uh kill more, more uh, pawns in your town life that i think like uh some of that stuff worked for me but it's it, his style of humor is so like dumb for the sake of being dumb, dumb and versus, annoying, yeah, and yeah. that's what's funny about it. Whereas this is references uh, and th like the you, highest you can, form you can, of you humor. Can, you, can, <laughs> you, can debate, you can debate how uh, highbrow reference humor is, but it always works for me. I love doing reference humor. Yeah. I love experiencing reference humor. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah cool. it really really works for me. The the really special thing about this is how many guns there are and how frequently you're finding new guns oh yeah cool. and that they all have their own experience meter so the more you use a weapon it will get to a point where it levels up mm. 
and those level ups are not insignificant. That stresses me out in games because I'm like, oh man, I want to use more. I want to be able to diversify my playstyle by using as many different guns as possible. But then you're not leveling any of them up mm. in a significant way. Totally. I I um <laughs> <laughs> I leveled up a shotgun. The shotgun's really strong, and I leveled that up, uh, and it became a bigger shotgun that was more powerful. And I was like, cool. It's way more effective. You level up the starter pistol. It goes to two pistols, and it's like, okay. Doubly as effective. Perfect. What happens when you level it up again? What? How's it going to power up again? Third pistol. Third pistol. Oh, what? Yeah. Third pistol. Oh, straight in the middle of the screen. Love it. You suddenly get a third arm. So it's Love like, it. <laughs> amazing. Three that going off. So there's just there's there's such a great sense. I guess of, the fact we all made that bad joke and it's right and it's in the game so speaks. Yeah, there's a great sense of brainstorming session. Is this a funny idea? It's it's a funny enough idea, <laughs> and so I put it in, and because it's in there, it's elevated even more. For sure. Just like they put this in a video game, yeah. it's not just like yeah. a bad joke that was made. Yeah. It's a bad joke that was executed, <laughs> <laughs> and that just takes it to a whole other level. Yeah. Um, so I'm really I'm really really enjoying it. Yeah, cool. I'm, I'm not particularly following what's happening in the story, except for the fact that I'm laughing as I'm playing. There are boss fights at the end of every kind of section to major levels. And that's where it becomes a bit like of a bullet hell uh, shooter where yeah. they, they're just shooting like Everything. massive yeah, waves yeah. of slow moving bullets at you and you're dodging and shooting. And they're quite difficult, which is good. It never feels like it's a cakewalk. Um, there, are, there are just even general encounters that I've had to do multiple times because I'm getting killed by bigger enemies and new enemies. And it's really about using the arsenal of weaponry you have as efficiently as possible as mm. you're going through. So... It does feel satisfying. It's not just a. It's not just a breeze, and uh, it's not just about <laughs> gags. It is a satisfying shooter. Em Emma Glitter says Ratchet and Clank system of weapon upgrades. I feel like the Ratchet and Clank kind of forced you to use different weapons by like limiting your access or uh, to certain kinds of ammo and stuff yeah. like that, or or making certain enemies only um, killable by certain kinds of guns. So I kind of like that approach to being like, yes, you level up the guns individually, but they're putting you in situations where you have to to kind of use Whereas a lot of different things. Whereas there's a bit more of your own play style. Yeah, if, if this, this if you just want to use a shotgun the whole time and just level up the shotgun as much as you can, is that kind of like this? Does that end up being the smartest thing to do? Or like... you will you won't you will be forced to change weapons in big fights because sure. you won't have enough shotgun ammo to get mm. through it. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. So you there is a little bit of that. You yeah, can't okay. just stick with one weapon, but you yeah. can, there are so many weapons that you're going to enjoy three or four of them and you could easily just yeah. use three or four. Can we yeah, also okay. just point out the joy of uh, any boomer shooter that brings back guns being held like this? That yep. kind of like every time you jump <laughs> yeah. when you run, it's like whoop, whoop, yeah. so to either side. It's so good. The design is great because yeah. there's, like, yeah. there's so much in it and uh, it's, it's like <laughs> not necessarily pretty, but it's 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 all really cohesive. It's yeah. gone for a style, and they've yeah really yeah. gone for it as and well. It, and yeah. it all talks to all of the characters you encounter and all of the places you go. So it really felt feels um, well developed. Uh, <laughs> I haven't mentioned that uh, there are sections of the game where you go Godzilla mode. Um, you become the bear, and because you find pots of honey, and you go full bear mode, Obviously. and yeah. uh, you become a giant, and you can like stomp around town and break buildings and stuff like that. Oh. So there are sections right. for that. There are 2D um, uh, uh, shoot 'em up levels and stuff. Like it's constantly surprising you, not just with gags, but with like that's the best <laughs> joke in the game that's, so that's far. That's fantastic. Good. It's a fucking that's great very joke. Good. Very <laughs> good. A hundred shots, like a couple of them are gonna land so well. And yeah, just, like, yeah, 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 Spot yeah. on bullseye. It was, so. It's a perfect joke. That's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> good and, on uh, uh, yeah, it, it it gives you variation in gameplay as well as just joke a minute and yeah you know quickly succeeding through to new levels and new uh places so fantastic That's yeah cool. bears oh. in space aussie yeah. developed aussie team good on them good, good on them indeed yeah. uh Aiden, do you want to round us out uh i hear you've been diving i've been diving straight into hell straight <gasps> into hell twice <laughs> nice. no i've been uh, yeah i've been playing i've got into hell i know you guys spoke about it uh, a little while ago but um i've just got onto it and you did know, you miss video games i gotta ask on the island. Island. yeah, yeah. When you, was this like the first it's thing like, you came back i can to? bring my switch right <laughs> uh no you can't um i did i did miss i i use i use video games as like mindfulness at home like i'll just go got a kid now so late at night i'll just play some video games yep. and just be like you know what i'm just gonna do this myself mm. um but hell divers mate 
It's it's great, and yeah. and, and for anyone that loves um, Starship Troopers, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. it is getting to play Starship Troopers for real. And I just I've had such a ball playing with like I play with my brother, um, who also got it on PC, and that's it's it's just been so much fun to just jump into, just absolutely annihilate some bugs, muck mm-hmm. around, and get out again. Having a having a <laughs> an eighteen month old child, yeah, you have to get up during the middle of the night. And so you need. I need to play. That's why I stopped playing Dota, because I can't. I can't you continue can't a game. I can't pause Dota yeah. because I have to go look after mm. Phoenix. And so I need to play games that I can just be like, I'll play for a bit and then I'll just jump out. It doesn't really matter if That's people. That's not this do. game. I know it isn't, <laughs> but I don't care about people that I play with. So I do just. Leave. I just. I, I would just abandon. But people. People leave matches all the time. You know? yeah, like it's not yeah. something that's gonna like totally destroy everything. But in saying that. I just I love the I love some of the weapon upgrades. It feels so it feels so good. How good is the word stratagem? I've never said the word stratagem so much in my life. Josh, which stratagem are you using now? (laughs) I think it's like it's it's the mechanic of the year. Oh, how good is it? Of of just doing like Konami code combos to do (laughs) impressive things in a video game. That you throw a ball to... It's just the and, coolest and, and thing. And the fact that under pressure, I always fuck it up. Oh, it's so, it's so, so, it's so funny. I'm like, God damn it. Same. Left, right, left, right, down, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just... Yeah, I, that aspect of it. And then you can also watch it come down from orbit. Yeah. As well. yeah. Just yeah. all those little things in it. I'm like, this is it's so good. Special. And everything has so much weight to it as well. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it really, really, like, hits. And, and, and the fact that you're running across a battlefield in a ridiculous cape as well. It's just... It's, <laughs> yeah. it's so yeah. glorious. I know. Just diving. I know. And I love the... I just love the the whole world of the game every like every time someone dies it's someone new that comes in it's just totally everyone's expendable yeah. and then and then <laughs> the fact that you can play absolutely like these giant giant monsters that are just mm. like the scale of it is mm. so cool when it when it scales up it's just yeah, I, I had such a blast playing it. I tell you, the one thing that is really bad, the matchmaking, though. Because I know I know we tried to play cross-platform. We tried to cross-platform. That wasn't giving us much love. It's, yeah, they really need to sort that out. Because yeah, yeah, I mean, it's okay. only two platforms at the moment, like yeah. as in PC to PlayStation 5. And it says it's working fine, but we did see uh, there were people saying there's lobby workarounds and stuff like that, but we didn't have any love doing it that way. Yeah, the only um, way we could figure it out was, like, go to a deserted planet and be the only people on the planet. <laughs> and then, fingers crossed, you end up on we the same map. Into yeah, the same yeah, kind of yeah, time, yeah. which yeah. yeah. Uh, to, to your point as well, that I've I've played a little bit of this now, and I've I've really been waiting to have a full squad to get in there and play it. I love how it kind of marries perfectly this like super serious or like super in depth mechanics of stratagems, the weighty movement, the really good gunplay with this kind of disposable pick up and play fun. Mm, like it's yeah. it's never taking itself serious. Well, it's sorry, it takes itself seriously at appearance, but when you're playing, it, it's like this is dumb fun. Yeah. Yeah. Dressed up as serious military stomp around get everything right yeah. you, the chatter you have with the friends is all it's like so feel serious at the moment but the second you're out of it you're like that was very silly <laughs> it's, 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 I just love that because there's, there's so many ways that you can accidentally you know injure your teammates and when it comes up on, on your the screen like way. killed yeah. by Reese I'm like Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so good at like kind of setting you against each other in the funnest funny way yes. the amount of times I throw down a century and it immediately turns around and starts shooting me because yeah. there's someone behind me I love a good century I love uh, yeah. yeah lots of little decisions and again yeah. we made it a punchline but putting capes on everyone kind of does this so, it's like yeah and the helmets like that it just makes it all suddenly not as a serious, it's not taking itself seriously. How did you find? Because I find that, like, as much as because I love Starship Troopers mm. and I was and I love that this kind of gives you that feeling with all the bugs and stuff like that. But I think I actually enjoy going to the like um, robot planets, the automatons. the automatons more. There's something about that. I think they feel properly scary. The ones with the with the swords yeah. and stuff, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and kind of getting around in the, in the in the mechs and everything when you're kind of amongst the other robots and stuff feels really like I don't know. There's something I find it properly scary. I think it's also just that I find bugs gross. <laughs> yeah, well, I, like we we just it, we end up playing it, and we just end up saying lines from Starship Troopers yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, an, sure. an only good bug is a dead bug. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's afraid. <laughs> <laughs> like, we just do that the whole time, and that's that's that's. Isn't, that this, is isn't so this game unexpectedly beautiful as well? Yeah, like, yeah. all the all yeah. the like chemtrails and the skyboxes, and when you like launch a nuke and you watch it go oh. up, and we all did the like the hug emote in front of it, so we all had our arms open. <laughs> it's <laughs> so <laughs> good, I but know. equally pretty. When I, a couple of matches I went into. Late and I land on the landing pad. It's nighttime and everything's exploding. And it yeah. has that kind of beauty of everything's just lit up. And I was like, I was having PTSD. I'm like, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Yeah. Man. Yeah. This looks 
amazing. It's the lighting, I think. The yeah, lighting the is just stunning. Really good. Yeah. yeah. The the thing that I immediately felt playing this game and enjoying a session was how much it felt like there was infinite possibility ahead for this game mm. of different, like you know, the, there's the bugs and the robots, but there is there's so much capacity to put in a new enemy type and new yeah. planets and yeah. it just like yeah. it feels like it's got legs forever and yeah. just just the fact that it's got that kind of game master element who's adjusting things and stuff i've, I've yes. only i've yeah. only played this a few that. times but um thor pirate software plays a lot so i've jumped in on a few of his streams and like where you kind of how the game changes as you level and the, and the things mm. that you get access to i was like whoa this is a different game than yeah. i've been playing because he's so far you know into it yeah and i found i kept getting like the matchmaking is like yes it has issues but i also get kept getting met like if you just play you just can just jump into anyone's game but i kept getting match made with really low level people mm. all the time right. and there's like nothing on the planet the missions are really easy and you're just like no this is not sort of it's yeah, not as fun okay, yeah. you really want to play with people all use the same level and to have that really great experience and there's nothing better than when you're waiting for a drop ship in any game <laughs> yeah, i just totally. think yeah, and yeah. everyone's just coming yeah, and you're yeah, like we've got to go we've got a minute left like yeah, that yeah, is just yeah. so much fun yeah. i love that <laughs> have you have you played because you've been playing with randos have yep. you found any uh role players oh, there are no, people I getting hard into oh really being uh, one this brother company, six, we that. Yeah, company yeah, yeah. men. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. And, like, because when we played, even early sessions, I encountered someone who was, uh, um, they were like, you know, it's pretty sus, this info we're getting from up up top, you know, like top the brass. fact that we just keep sent, getting sent down to kill these bugs and we have no information about Anyone what if we're the, to think what about if we're what we're the doing bad here? guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bugs. That's so funny. And, and, then, and so then there are people having that conversation and then there are, I've seen clips of people like, Bringing it, raising questions about, oh, should we really be trusting the what super Earth government? <laughs> and then, and then, the 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 really to towing like on the line people turning around and shooting them as like you know traitors. <laughs> it's like, oh, we, that's traitorous. That's treason. They need to down. bring a helmet in that's just a tin foil hat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, also, it's a video game, so maybe we're the bad guys. Robot with swords. No, no, that's it. That's the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. I, ha I had a, a great moment that rounded out my last play session where um, we were waiting for the dropship, which is always that super tense thing, and I was so far away from it. And every time we'd, we'd kind of gone to the dropship, we always do the little, uh, hell, uh, what I call the hell dime, where you kind of do the little... Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, thing. yeah. Go prone. Yeah. <laughs> you go, go prone. prone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's kind of like a, a bounce to prone, <laughs> and we'd always do that in onto the ramp to get into the ship. And um, this time I was so far away from the dropship, like I wasn't going to make it. Like the countdown was getting, and I was just like, no, like wait. <laughs> Slow mo. And I was just like trying, trying to get there, and all the enemies were coming in, and I was just like, I got there, and I was just like, it's actually like if I if I do the dive, I'm probably not going to make it, so I need to just like sprint Run straight on. in. And then as I I like had my fingers on the door, and then like a thing like sprayed a <laughs> shaft of fire at me. And I was like, if I dived, I would have <laughs> <laughs> so always, 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 always be diving. Always be diving. Yeah, yeah. Always be going <laughs> funny, like the Dragon's Dogma 2, like, uh, you, you know, you're talking about like the, um, the puppet master and the virus control and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Helldivers is probably the best managed game of the year so far. Yeah. The flying bugs were not in the game at launch. They released the flying bug mob into the game post launch, and specifically, like their whole ca social media campaign was, that's not a thing. It's not happening. People are posting it on Reddit. They're getting onto Reddit posts saying this isn't true. This is treasonous talk. This isn't true. But like propaganda. This but is, people yeah, are yeah, seeing yeah, the but bugs. Like, no, doing... but I've been fighting flying bugs. And it's like there are no fl flying bugs in the game. <laughs> and yes, so, that's it. Gaslight your audience. Gaslight marketing campaign. But, that but that's, that's, I mean, so that just good. goes straight back to yeah. Starship yeah. Troopers, doesn't it? Of so like, funny. control the message, yeah. lie, lie, yeah. lie, yeah. control yeah. the message. Oh, that's it's just so good. It's such a cool, cool I'm having a great time with it. There's a similar thing with the launch of the mech. The mech oh, thing as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It like, yes. It was so yep. fabled, people like calling it as fake and like, no, people, it, it becomes those wise tales. You, you know, yeah. You have seen them in game, but who do you believe? Next, we then, don't have you know, mechs. Yeah. Bring it out. So good. Oh, that's new, strat yep. yeah. new stratagem for marketing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not saying it. You've been infected. Yeah. I'm a company man. <laughs> All the way through and through. Uh, awesome. Well, hopefully we get that game eventually, but uh, that was what we've been playing. You've been playing Helldivers 2. Yep. Peter, you're playing Bears in Space. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, Dragon's Dogma 2. Yes, Arisen. Arisen. Uh, and I'm grinding some pepper. Uh, and we'll be back after this short break. Ah. Uh. 
What dreadful visions haunt me as I gaze upon the sea? And oh, what furtive bounty in deep, dark possibility! All aboard for strange horizons, yond the sight of those ashore. Seamen hauled a feeble cargo to a place to find no more. Bound so tight, dead hands numb and white, a heavy implication. In dusky light and out of sight, now food for some crustacean. For a mighty shell, red as hell, it breached through waves almighty, and from its moor an ancient roar, then bloodshed quite unsightly. What better nest to lay to rest than out past circular key? So leave the heads and drop your dead to the heart of Middle Sea. Middle Sea colossal crab fingers for a Leviathan appetite! <laughs> Very different vibes. In all situations. Yo, Jack, do you decide to try and um, jump the Playboy car? And you got it stuck between the fuel tank and the building. Oh, 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 oh. I can find a suit. There's something very strange in this neighborhood slash movie. This is totally an overextended pilot episode for a Ghostbusters series. A series I would love. It is a more recognizable Ghostbusters experience, but it seeds in just enough new stuff to not get too bogged down in the nostalgic reveals of its predecessor. I do remember the complaints about Afterlife though, that it had moved away from being an adult comedy and is now just a straight up franchise, and they didn't listen to your complaints. This is way more popcorn than it is Twinkie. But here's the thing, I kind of think it's pretty cool. The Boston world is inherently interesting and wacky. If they're opening this up to be more of a family adventure series, which they definitely are. I'm fucking telling you, it's PG. Don't play it safe. You gotta be weird with this stuff. Do you remember the first film? Do you remember what happened to Dan Aykroyd? Kid me had no idea what was happening. Pocket. Uh, things got a little out of control in that ad break, but uh, thank you for sticking with us. Uh, in that ad break, we saw a new word there, survived, by Mind of Jack. Very appropriate. <clears throat> I'm not an old block. This is just a great show now. Yeah. You've got a tree next to you you're not using. Oh, yeah, no, it's in show. It's, it's blocking Steph. Fair enough. And there's Fair broccoli enough. there, yeah. Uh, we also saw an ad there for Middlesey. Uh, Miles the Ross. Love, uh, love his work as usual. <laughs> Uh, and we also saw our socials there. Uh, Little Will doing a review of Ghostbusters Frozen City? Empire? Empire? Yeah. Uh, he thought it was pretty good. He liked it. Uh, 
You work at the movies, is it, is it doing all right? <laughs> hey, it's doing all right. It's doing, it's, right. it's doing as good as the last one. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but go check out our socials, back pocket vids on everything. Uh, great content like that and more. All right. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be moving on with the show very shortly uh, in uh, a segment we like to call Very Good Gameplay. I tried to do a roar and it came off very... You sounded like baby Simba trying to do the... Uh, very good gameplay is brought to us uh, by... Hey, Timothy. Now that's a jungle. Well, that's more of a canyon noise, really. Uh, and as usual, when we have a segment... What? Canyon noise? Canyon noise. But it's a, yeah. but, sorry, if an animal makes it... Yeah, but if you were doing the setting it, of a canyon... Yeah. That's, the canyon didn't make the noise. Yeah. yeah, but he was the talking, setting of it. But it the amplified setting. the echo yeah, of it. Yeah. No, I'm with, you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Yeah, Josh, yeah. it's really hot out in this canyon. Play sound effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> a vulture. It's a vulture. Why don't you do that? Vulture. I'm there. I'm there. I'm vulture. There. Yeah, there. good. Uh, as usual with A Timothy, when they sponsor a segment, we uh, like to find a famous Timothy. I read out a description of them and see if the rest of the team can guess who they are. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this very quick last minute put together Timothy and tell me if you can work it out. This Tim initially started off well, as he was a strong and valued member of Cadenia. <laughs> However, after a simple and unanimous first tribal council, Cadenia were unprepared coming into their second, and this Tim was sent home as he was seen as a liability because of his age. Any- <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Someone called Tim on some <laughs> season of Survivor. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Any guesses? Tim, no. 2002. 2002. 2002. US. Timothy. Yeah. Timothy starts with D. Timothy. And then the next no. series of letters. U. Timothy Duncan. Du. Timothy du- Duble. Du- du- <laughs> Timothy Duggan. 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 That, oh, that won't fit. Oh, yeah, well, a... come on. you got to stretch it. It's actually the sleeve of a T-shirt. Oh, really? <laughs> I bought two T-shirts. Oh, my God. This is great. I bought two T-shirts and I... <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to go this mode. Oh, I yeah. You're going full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Christmas cracker hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is good. This is uh, good. Actually, yeah,
as computers. But we're going to play the mini games. Uh, and as we do, uh, Josh, if you wouldn't mind, I'm struggling over here. <laughs> you, you, look gr- you look great. Yeah. <laughs> you look good, but don't, don't you look good? I made it for two days. Yeah. Uh, Josh, if you wouldn't mind showing, uh, as we win the mini games, you are going to be climbing a totem. Can you just put the screen up, please, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> just don't touch my face anymore. Look away on uh, this. As you can see right here. Oh, look at that. Gus, Gus is currently. Uh, I guess mine is around my neck. It's going around my neck. Okay. Uh, we are going to ascend this to grab a flag at the top by winning mini games. Everyone grab your controller. Uh, and we're going to launch our way into Survivor. <clears throat> out, out now you know any. Now this isn't the game, right? No, this no, is this our is, game. This is okay. yours. Uh, yeah. If only. Yeah, if any only. um any game based on a TV show, it's always good. You know, <laughs> it's, it's going to be yeah. so it's gonna, good. It's going to be top, top tier. Top tier. <laughs> it's always going to be quality. <laughs> it uh, already has a big mobile game energy. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, what, what TV show needs a video? I mean, there were some good Simpsons games. Oh, they, I wish there was a good Becca game. A good Becca game. Becca. Yeah. Becca. <laughs> Well, you like the first Becca, Becca reference of the night. <laughs> <laughs> what a roll, people. <laughs> this is great. A Seinfeld game would be great. That'd be good. Uh, the, the, yeah. the infinite Seinfeld yeah, AI. Yeah. Uh, I, can, I, can, I can see that like pixel art style working well for, yeah, for, yeah. for Seinfeld. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Are you Cliff at the moment? I am. Gr- uh, let's go with colours. Yeah, this is the best way. Because this, this game changes up our characters every time. So if everyone just presses A and but, finds but, the, uh, Steph, the you should press A next. Okay, I'm blue. Okay, but okay. I think you should be... I think. For the do you want to do it like the order of the room? Probably. So should I be over on the right? Mm, no, I just think one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, okay, so okay. I'm so green on one. I'll be Cliff. Yeah, okay. Who's yeah. Now, Steph? Steph what a. colour are you? You're blue now. So your colour? Yeah, you can hit A. Okay, I'm, and you're I'm the red, red, orange. You're red, and Mike, I'm and you're blue. purple. Okay. Done. Red, All right, red. everyone press A. Purpley, purpley. Mike. We're through. These are our games. Oh, this is Unstable. Oh my god. Bucket. Unstable bucket. Which ones have you played? I'm having I'm having flashbacks here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To when I you played just like being I there. Played unstable buckets. Can you, can you, can I, you, I, I must say played pole. Was you, that every time you had to you take you, a shit? Can you it tell was me a little unstable bit, bucket. Can you tell me a little bit about blowgun and um and what's involved oh, in that? Oh blowguns. Oh that sounds great. That sounds actually we we oh, wow, tried, blowgun was pretty way fun. too dangerous. I thought I could start us with a simple one. Slither. Let's start with slither. Let's start with slither. Slither. Basically, this is just mashing buttons, uh, but you will Did need you do to press this on the show. This, you know what? This is okay. Yeah, right, are we just ma'am. press the corresponding color of oh, the button? Right, bump, right, bumper. right bumper. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. I've got a slither. <laughs> got a slither. Um, we they actually got us to slither in the game. Really? Oh, B, yeah. B, B, B. Um, they had this net, this twisty net with mud in it. And before we did the challenge, they, they're like, um, guys, we need more mud. And the mud guys came out and poured more water guys. and mud. There's mud guys. There I love is mud that there's guys. There's a guy for oh, everyone. Ah! Okay, Kiri, let's bump up, let's bump up, let's bump up, let's bump up, let's bump up. Oh my gosh, so come on, finally a game. Oh, I just died. A game that was invented for me. Let's just point out that if this really happened in a game of Survivor, it's the, the guy just checked out coming up with the challenges. Um, I don't know, they can yeah. crawl. Uh, you know what people love? Slithering. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so blue is Steph. Yeah, so good. Steph gets a totem uh, and Steph. we'll move on to the next game. Uh, it's first to five. And we're not doing Slither five times. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> we're just non stop. got to listen now, to the, the chat, Gus. Slither, chat, Slither, 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 Slither. Slither. Now, Maybe just... we'll come back to a Slither if Steph gets to four. Because <laughs> we know you can win. Uh, everyone this, just press A again and okay. you'll just be your same colour, okay, but you'll okay. be a different yeah, person. Okay, I'm ready. Good. Yeah, good. Good, yeah, good, 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 good. Uh, wiggle, 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 yeah. We're good. <laughs> uh, let's move okay, on. Did, let's, what, what about tug of war? What about tug of war? Tug I, of did, war? I did do tug of war. I, I won tug of war okay, okay. in the game. Oh, this is a team game. Won the ta- yeah, won the tar- team. I don't know if we're in the right team. So... Oh, God. It doesn't give you a chance to work it out. Let's go. No one knows. Okay, I'm four. Okay, I'm top left. Okay. Wait, I'm top... Who's bottom left? I'm bottom, bottom left. I'm bottom left. Oh, God. So I think it's me and Pete. No. This is riveting television. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we're not on it. Uh, who's bottom right? I'm bottom left. Yeah, we're on the team. So, Steph, you're bottom right? Yeah. Let's do this. Fuck. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, at least they put a spin on the old masher button. <laughs> it's just, you got to give the people who spent two weeks okay. making this game some credit. Okay, now I've got it now. I'm in, I'm in the zone. Oh, I'm step with smashing this. We're doing this. We're coming back. We're coming back. Fuck. That's not good. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, damn it. I thought we were coming back, but we're not. Is it two per button? No. Oh. Lies. It just changes every time. Fuck. Sorry, it's getting louder. We, we are actually coming back. Uh, I messed up twice. Let's now. go, Steph. Let's go. No. Stephanie! No, no fucks. Just wins. 
Just pull. Just tug. <laughs> just tug. <laughs> for the next hour. I'm not even looking. I don't know. <laughs> right it's good it television. Uh, no. The only noises we're making are <laughs> fuck fuck and a noise. No. Fuck no. Fuck no. I have hey, to concentrate no. so hard. We got this. I think we've got this, Eden. I think this is a cakewalk. Your experience on the actual show Shut winning up. this <laughs> is going to get us across the line here. Quite oh, come, Steph, on, Steph. come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Fuck. Oh, don't, shit. Don't say that. Sorry. We don't, we, come on, it. come on, come on, come on. Shit. Uh, I'm on a roll. Then. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Oh, no. Fuck. We got this. Shit. <laughs> shit. Oh, no, I've ruined it. Now we got this. I mean, no, yeah. We're on Let's different teams. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like that used like all of my brain power for the rest of the week. Holy shit! That was that was intense. What did you get for winning? We won a tarp, which is the best thing to win because you put that over the shelter. Bring over our tarp, please. Tarp, please. That and s'mores. Let's get it. Wait, Gus has a tarp, and we lost. We may have a tarp. You actually do have a tarp. We got a tarp. This is so good. Oh my god, it's this is actually good, nice. mate. This is this is what kind not of things can you do with It's literally so it, it will keep you so dry. Oh my god, it will keep you so dry, my friends. <laughs> Excellent. Um, <laughs> there we go. Okay, one tarp. The things you can do with a tarp. All of the things you, you can... don't know what to do with a tarp. <laughs> the tarp. You've never seen the tarp. The candy of a thousand <laughs> uses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's good. a point to Eden and yeah, Pete. Good. Yeah, good. Everyone press okay, A again. We're going to do one more team one, and then okay. we'll go back to individual. Okay, okay. great. Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, and the okay. chat is blowing up. I know. They, just, they cannot get it. <laughs> Tug for <tar. laughs> um, Oh, God. What do we think? Uh, torch. Torch looks it. funny. You have to carry to a brazier through an obstacle course to light... Yeah, that sounds like it's going to go wrong. Okay. As yeah. a team. Good. As How a team of two. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. No. I'm oh, red. Okay, I'm, red. Based. I'm red. Wait, that's me and Steph. Yeah, okay, we're going yeah. first. I thought me and Eden were on a team together. Yeah, yeah. it didn't work out like oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> oh, what is, is this? Just us? Are you both moving? Oh, I got yeah. hit. By what? Go for that barrel. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, we, c we can learn some things here. What the? Was it always a benefit to go this second is, in challenges? Uh, yeah. You, um, oh, God. Well, you can ask questions when you... And what are you meant to... But how are you both... Where are we going this way? I guess so. Yeah, through the water. Through the oh! Oh, oh, I just got you. you. This will be dippy. Is that me? Yeah. Was it both of you? Oh, now it's Steph. Oh, now it's. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Get through the water. Well done. Let's we're go through. Faster. Okay, where to now? Oh, bloody. Left, 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 left. Oh, Jess, Jess must take your flint. Good survivor references it there from the chat. It says we'll run out of time at 1.45. So four? <laughs> <laughs> You'll run out of time after uh, uh, one I'm hour. Right, right. <laughs> Stop. Well, go, go, go forward. Go forward. I can't. I'm oh, we have to go over the rock. Over the rock? Over the, over the rock. That makes no, sense. No, you meant to... Oh, shit. Oh, sh wait. Around. Hang on. Oh, no, can you rotate? <laughs> Hang on, guys. Can you rotate? If one of you walks and the other doesn't? Yeah, what if you move, Seth? No, it just seems to be one... We'll how, do you, how do you get past that? Knock it over. Rotate. Pivot. Pivot. <laughs> pivot. Let's go back. Let's pivot. go back and round. They are learning so There's much. There's got to be another button here that can do that can do a direct like direction Have you thing. Use yeah, LB and pivot RB. In the step. What is that? Ooh. Pivot in the yeah, chest. You oh. Now you're pivoting. Oh, oh there, there was a bit of pivot. There was a bit of pivot. You pivoted. It's, 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 it's RB. What is RB? RB. Oh. oh yeah, there you go. What am I what doing? What are you doing? Oh god, I think you're both pivoting in opposite directions. Yeah. We are on our way to the end. Here we go. Uh, hey. Well done. Oh, pivot, pivot. 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 So pivot RB, back. RB and LB. No, okay, wait. Other, other, other one. Other one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. RB and LB. Okay. You've got one more uh, second. Oh, uh, come on. All right. We've got to get up for that corner. Okay. I reckon we can um, do it. Right, now we know fuck. we can pivot. Fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I think we should try guy. pivoting. <laughs> okay, let's just continually okay. pivot in the yeah. one spot. Yeah. <laughs> let's try. I mean, we can. We can move. Okay, we pointed out good. when we tested this game, unlike Mario Party, that now on each iteration goes, oh, hey, yeah. learn the controls and try them out and make sure yeah. you've got yeah, it I'm sorted. Pivoting. Is I'm everyone pivoting. ready yeah, for the game? Yeah, now play, this just goes, get in there. All right. Well, you don't that's know like what's going to Okay, pivot, pivot, pivot. I feel like we had such a handicap while we were playing. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Steph is furious about the green. The way that's that you. the voice trail no. off just that's so you. The elements have been called. That's, oh, no. that's, that's you. That's me. Oh, God. That's you. A hurricane is happy island. Uh -oh, I missed it. 
That's you. Oh, God. Never mind. Even next pivot. is against us. Let's pivot. Let's pivot. Let's, pivot. Pivot. Let's, let's, pivot. Pivot. let's just do pivoting. Pivot. Pivot. Do some pivoting. No, no, no. Pivot. 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 We've got a different course. Okay, go pivot. Pivot. Uh, okay, pivot. 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 <laughs> I think we're okay. Yeah. Oh, that good. tickles me. The oh, mango, mango tribe wins. <laughs> well done, mangoes. Mm, All right, back mangoes. to individual trial this time. Uh, okay. Everyone hit A when you're ready. Yeah, okay, I'm ready again. Um, good to go. Cotton. Uh, this one, we are going to do good old poll. Good old poll. Nothing pole. beats poll. Oh, this is good poll. Should we yeah. get at this? Okay. Uh, I think it's both thumbsticks. <laughs> I think it's both. Poll, where's... Uh, okay, so you got to keep your... Keep your cursor on the green. Oh. Keep your cursor in the green. Okay, well, oh, don't go too hard the other way. Don't yeah, go too hard the other way. Don't oversteer. Don't oversteer. I oversteered. I'm in. I'm in the drink. They're Splash. a chatty bunch. Never they? oversteer. Not like old okay. team. Oh, yeah, look old at this team, team Kiwi or who we are. Focus on the core over here. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm. Um, I was I'm actually the, the individual master. challenges. I did, I did surprisingly okay. I was like top four. In a lot of them. But as a team, you let everyone down? Uh, but as a team, I let everyone down. <laughs> Especially my parents. No, 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 no. Come on, buddy. Stay in this. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stay in the target zone. Got this. Got this. Um, oh, who's player one? That's they me. haven't moved. Player one is locked uh, I'm in I'm just position. still... I'm the pole master. You are. Uh, no way. Yours is broken. No! Oh, 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 God. Oh, no. Okay, it's down to me and Gus. All right, bring it on, buddy. Okay, that's all right. I love it how you guys just stay in like ankle deep water down the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're disappointed. I can't even believe you're looking at bathe, that. I'm just like focused. Bathe in your own shame, you two. <clears throat> I'm staring at the neural logo. Strip down and get ourselves a sandwich. Okay, that's all right. Look, I'm that's dead right. center. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think yours is busted. There's no way. No, I'm just... Yeah. Okay, this is when Jeff brings out like the treats. Like, what would you, would you get down for a peanut butter sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> oh, does he do that? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, try and champion you. Do you have any pizza left over? Would you Let's get go. down for a peanut butter sandwich? Uh, no, no, definitely not. I would okay. not get down. Barbecue shapes, on the other hand, I'm off that pole in a second. You hear that, on it? <laughs> they just brought out gluten-free barbecue this shapes. Guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the middle. It. I'm in the middle. Okay, have you stopped touching yes, your controller? because I'm in the middle. That Wait. is outrageous. I'm that. Um, You're the I'm, Zen I'm slightly master. concerned that this doesn't have a time limit, and yeah. we could literally do this forever. <laughs> you got somewhere to be? Okay, yeah, no, no, well, evidently not. Um... Okay, here we Fuck go, off. here we go, here we go. <laughs> see, see, Gus, I'm giving better television by almost falling oh, off all yeah, the time, yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. you're just boring. You're not going to make on. the edit, Gus. I'm keeping my you head down. Yeah, yeah. I'm keeping my head down until oh, halfway God. through, until merge. Yeah. <laughs> Once merge happens, then Look I'm... Look you in the words. <laughs> I'm watching some of the lingo. stuff, mate. I know got what a buff you, is. You're not dateable unless you make merge. That's okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh no, oh my someone's god. Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> this is uh, excellent. Falling. My plan is working perfectly. I switched <laughs> Gus's batteries out before the game. <laughs> this is I'm playing next He's doing pizza to camera oh, mid challenge. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, it does a flashback to me um, <gasps> taking out the battery. Oh, oh. oh, look, he's out of it now. Once you're overcorrect. Once you, the overcorrection is. I'm back in the middle. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Green, and green. Back this in the is middle. And I'm back. Oh, 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 Angus is gone. Um, oh, yes. yes. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yes. What do you win for this one? Oh, oh, this one. Um, you've got. Oh, what was it? No, Another it tarp. was no. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple tarts. No, you get um, you get a toothbrush to brush your teeth. I think we can do that. You told you're for what? To, for what reason? Yes. To brush your teeth? To, to brush. <laughs> you're not allowed a toothbrush? No, no, no. You've got no toiletries no. at all. But so what like, they do, but, but before you go, we so found a tree. Dental we, hygiene, you could get sick. No, no, no. What you would do, you find a tree, right? And it's this certain type of tree and you can cut the little twigs off it. And what you do is you peel it and you chop the edge with your machete and it becomes sort of front. And then you get the charcoal from the fire, mix it with water because that activates and you put that on there and you use it as a toothbrush every morning. Ah, good. <laughs> This hasn't been in the toilet, has it? I think it's, it's been amazing. used by everyone yeah, at some yeah. point, so... <laughs> Good. Yeah, we like Maybe stick to the tree for that. Yeah, yeah, it's the gas toothbrush. Sure the gas can use we, it. We like, we like to share here. I'm wearing Gus's deodorant right now. Yeah. Oh, oh, mate. This uh, is, this everyone got press everything. A. Uh, press A. Josh, can we get a score check? So, yes, we can. We have... Uh, After this ad break. Gus <laughs> on <laughs> zero totems. Thank oh. you. Uh, Steph on one totem. Slither. We have Peter on two totems. And Eden is currently on three out of oh, five. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Oh, nice. I'm a master. Team. team or individual? Blow darts. 
Uh, yeah, blow darts, blow is, darts. Great. Blow darts yeah. is great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. great in the scheme of things. Yeah. Blow gun, blow gun, blow gun. I don't. They didn't let us blow any <laughs> one. <laughs> that sounds really bad. <laughs> That's just a bonus. <laughs> What else uh, do you do with your time? You know, you know. So it's, it's, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's hang on. hold A to get a smaller. More direct go. shot. Yep, more direct shot. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you gotta. Oh, no. oh god. <laughs> three <laughs> dots is yeah. too, much. <laughs> too much. Oh, three <laughs> Oh no. I think I'm good. <laughs> oh god, I didn't oh. even hit the rack then. That was a loser. Someone one. inhaled. Yeah. I'm so confused. Oh, oh, okay. Why yeah. are you hitting anymore? Oh, then you got to yeah. let go. Yeah, oh, yeah. people scoreboard. I, know, I might as well sit this one out. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm on the board. Am I not what do you even... have to get? What do you have to get to? You're at 36. <laughs> oh my I can God. blow. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> I can blow with the best of them. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I limp blow. Fuck. So it kind of. So what, what's okay. happening at the end? It goes end? on like this. It goes deep, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I guess get some points oh. on the board there. My, mine oh, goes on, crazy at, when nice. I when I. That's a point like, for gasoline. I'll take a what turn. What am I doing <laughs> Am I moving my hand when I'm like Steph? trying to blow the dart? We'll never play blow gun again. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Erase it from but your memory. Slither. We're back to slither. Slither, <laughs> slither will come no, back. No, yeah. no, 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 uh, no. You've got to give the people what they want. Another team game. Let's yes. do it. Everyone, a up. I'm done. Uh, and we're gonna do Ready up. rock and roll. Oh, this is your Mario. Oh, this, this, this is, is going to be like um. There's no pivoting with a big ball. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. I'm number. I'm number yes, three. So yeah. it's Steph and I okay. again. Steph, up you go. Steph, Steph. Okay, good. All right. Yep, good. All right, I'll get a yeah, you get it. Yeah, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. You get ready to hit yeah. it. Cross. Yeah, you got it. No, go, 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 go. That's all you. That's all you. That's all you. Yep, yep. Straight through the middle. Straight through the middle. Yeah, good. Got it. See, we got it. Oh, that's too far. Too far. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, I thought that was a goal. Well, that's a goal. Yeah, that's a goal. Practice round. Practice round. No, 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 no. Call that a goal. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. I think we should take a totem. Uh, Mango Tribe is really kicking goals right now, mate. Uh, Mango. 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 Eden is one totem away from winning. Oh, we got to do individual then. You got to do individual. Yeah, yeah. Unstable bucket has to happen. I'm sorry. Unstable bucket. I don't know what it is, but I fucking love it. Unstable bucket. Game on, people. This could be the win. Oh, wait. It's turn based. That's okay. How long are these turns going to be? This is my turn. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. Get some water, mate. That bucket looks far too stable. How did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, whoa. How did you? I pressed A. Where, where are you okay. going? Oh, oh you got to take it. You got to take it to the to the well? to the to the thing and pour it in there. Oh, I've seen people do this on TikTok. That looks That's... like that was a good fill. This sucks. Uh, isn't this like? <laughs> yeah, this one sucks. Isn't this like a cause that like whoever gets the water in at the end? The something. most water, the most water. So hang on, you've got to do oh, this another, for two oh. and a half minutes. Oh, quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, no. Oh, wait, not no, adventures, sorry. No, that sucked. Josh, can you move the cursor, potentially? Oh, wait, okay, hang on. Uh, I'm pressing. Okay, so then Steph, Steph. Steph. Yeah, and yep. me. Yep. Oh, I'm big boy Keith. All right. Keith. Individual Keith. Yeah, Keith. The, uh, unstable bucket. Keith. Can I get an A from Keith? Oh, Keith, sorry. Thank you. Keith's slow. Uh, unstable too. bucket. We'll never go back to that. No, we'll never no. do unstable bucket again. Um, done pole. Final race. Blow gun. Final race. Sack race. Jigsaw. Oh, jigsaw. jigsaw. Hard jigsaw. Hard jigsaw. Okay. Okay, jigsaw it is. Unless this is individual again. Because <laughs> that's really... Yeah, it's individual. No, oh, it's actually it's individual. It's just, no. yeah. Sack race. You know the, the sack race. Sack race yeah, was sack individual. Race. The, the obstacle course. Obstacle course. One, obstacle yeah. course. Uh, sack race. Yeah. Sack race. Sack race was individual. Oh, yeah, we well, I hate it, it then. So, yeah, well, how is it a race if it's individual? And you don't separate. It's about setting Steph, a time. Steph, you're up next. Fastest time. Bullshit. Oh, Colton. Colton. Oh, these are. Oh, are these actual. Pieces? These are actual players. There's poverty. Oh. There's James. There's Colton. There's who had Sue. the who had the um, jacket? Colton, uh, Natalie. Natalie had the jacket. Um, Natalie. Colton famously was super racist and then quit. So oh I'm glad I'm him. Uh, it's a quick. Oh, it's a, isn't quick he? time, Steph, Stephanie. Oh shit. Oh, hang on. What are we doing? Oh, quick time to get through. Then hey, what run. the hell? B so Y, -Y, -Y A. Am I out? Not yet. Oh god. Uh, you are. You didn't win. Yes, oh. Sir? oh, what are you Go! meant to do? Oh god. Hey, oh, hey, <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Why can't I? It's like Dragon's Dogma. You can climb ladders. Later, nerds. Oh. What the? <laughs> what There's doing? another ladder. We're all... Oh, right. this bit sucks. Okay. Oh, okay. you just got pushed off. Fuck off. 
Stop pushing. Oh, look How do I get up? Oh, you got to get up. We're on the ground. Who's, who's you got to go back to the bloody. Oh, uh, we got to go. Oh. You got to go back so to the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've uh, just been deleted. Yeah, we oh, got you deleted. can jump. Yes. Nice. Oh, <laughs> what a lonely victory. That's crazy. That's I'll take crazy. a Just you on a George. rock. <laughs> Let's slither it up. Slither, slither time. Slither, slither time. Right. Time for slithering. Individual. Jeremiah, there's Abby uh, Marie. Quick score check, Josh. I can't. Oh, Tony, I can't believe this. Uh, <laughs> They've got everyone's right. Slither. Eden still one away. Oh god. Eden with three. Gus with two. Steph with one. Cool. Okay, let's slither it up, people. <laughs> there it is. This is the whole slither. game. Where? Which one am I? Uh, Second. No. Uh, Look at this go. We're all like head, neck and neck. <laughs> it's peak oh, slither. God. Sliver. No, I forgot oh, about the me. Up. <laughs> no. Come, gotta get sliver, gotta sliver, let him sliver. Oh, 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 <laughs> Second place. Oh, Gus is coming. Is that you again, Gus? Yeah. I'm back. Oh, God. I had Tony like, wins. I had positioned like this to be able to get maximum <laughs> yes. spam, and then I was like, no, there's LB. I'll tell you what, you get fucked if you get bumpers. If you get a sequence of bumpers, bumpers. Yeah. 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 yeah, game over. Game over. That's what they always yeah, say yeah, in Tribal yeah, Council. Yeah. I always got bad. <laughs> I got too many bumpers. Too many, too many bumpers. bumpers. All right, Steph. You got Tasha. bumper meted out of the okay. game. Wasn't that it? Oh, Reynolds. Uh, no. No, it's still going. Three. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> isn't that it? it it's be been it. three weeks. Okay, it should be here it. we go. Um, uh, how, do we make, how do we end this? Everyone make a fire? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's, okay, let's do a team game because then that increases the chance oh, of, yes, of, yes. of Eden winning. Of Eden winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, team here we go. Game, team everyone. game, team game. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's do it, team. Uh, basket looks... Raft race, raft Rough building race. <laughs> comes after raft race. Oh, oh yeah, torch was terrible. Torch Tug was of war terrible. we've done. Hammer throw is bad, and we should do that. Um, <laughs> done. Hammer throw. Hammer throw is yep. press one button to lock in your direction. Press another same, one to lock in your same distance. Same button again. Uh, Steph, you and I are trying to knock green ones. I'm not. That's not me. No, but you'll go next. So I went oh. first. Now you come in, and then you. Go. Okay. Where am I? You're trying to hit green, not so, red. Uh, so we're, we're trying, trying to, to hit red. red. Oh, yeah. a, a and A again for distance. Oh, how'd that oh, miss? Oh, okay, okay. Beautiful step. Well done. I'm yeah. in. So we're hitting red, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, damn it. That was the, just missed yeah, it. Yeah, right in the middle of them. Oh, my God. That was great. Oh, my God. One. Steph. Okay, so we found what That's Steph's good at. Yeah. Okay. Nothing? Fuck yeah. Thank Sorry, you. I was <laughs> <laughs> Steph's so this into outrageous. this. She's not even celebrating our team victory. Uh, those like, ones, no, like I'm not even going for those ones. I don't know. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, good. Got <laughs> nice. one. Oh my oh, god. We We're getting all, a nice game here. here. This is like pool. They'll have no balls left to sing. Oh, what the fuck? Come on. That was it. <laughs> oh, oh no. nailed it. Yeah. I can't cancel. Okay. It was at this point that I realized Steph was really the one gonna. We're not doing pieces to camera. Okay, fair enough. Yes! Steph was really. Okay, come on. Oh, too long. Get down. No, no, no got, got it, got it. One to go, one to go, one to go. This is your enemy. Go, no, 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 that no, angle is bullshit. ridiculous. Oh, oh, come come on. On. angle is ridiculous. Oh, you got that one. Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, damn it. <laughs> we came back. We did come back. Which we did come back. Is... Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, on, we're on bigs. Oh, God. It's easier on smalls. <laughs> yeah. Keep forgetting the scores. <laughs> okay, Gus Steph is doing gets so. one. Gus gets one. So Gus is now one totem away. Oh, my God. Whoa. Gus and Eden are tied on four. This just got interesting. This just got interesting. This just Here we go. Next week on Co Survivor Coco Australia. Australia. Okay. All right. Uh, Another team. Team well, again. Because then it. someone wins. Oh, someone wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah do one more team. Team, team, team. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, team, team. This is for all the marbles. Yeah. Is it tug of Make or? it stop. Make, Make it stop. stop. Make Ooh, it ha, stop. Ha, 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 ha. Hanging vase, baby. <laughs> what is it's just a guy making the games up. Uh, I don't know. Hanging vase. Okay. okay. We're what on are the we right. Doing? What are we doing? What are, what we, are we doing? doing? Hanging vase. No, we're on the left. I hit A on those markers and then. And then oh. one more. And then again. And then mash. Oh, God. Okay, I got you still it. still got it. Oh, so I'm not going to be able to jump very high. Oh, no, I did it. Still got it. Looks like we got everything. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't understand what the first part I think the first part gives you a bigger a target on the second part. Oh, okay. If you nail it. Oh, shit. It. Okay. Go, 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 go. Mash, yep, that's it. 
Oh shit, we're behind. We're behind. Come on. Yeah, come, come on, on. one more. Come on, this is it. This is it. Faster, faster, faster. Mash, mash. Yeah, I got it. Go, 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 go. Yes! Oh, yes! Mango, mango, mango. <laughs> so, I don't know. All right. What were, we, what were we doing at the start? <laughs> I think what, what Slither, we're doing Slither from Final Fantasy. Slither, Slither, Slither in. Come on, team. <laughs> and it, it was, it was uh, give yourself a good run up uh, and, then he, and then land in the. And then it gave you more a bigger space to hit in the second pass, yeah. which was how quickly you could start running yeah, okay. to run up. Okay. There's, a lot, of, there's a lot of nuances with this game. Yeah, you know? yeah, totally. yeah. It's got I just a lot of layers. I understand, you know, mechanically, like, you know, how, how it works. <laughs> Important, um, and the uh, the chat is down to zero people. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Look at this. Oh, nice. I believe that's I never, I never got to win an, an immunity, immunity idol. <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh, this is Where good. did you get that from, guys? This feels so good. That Look is that. authentic Incan necklace from Amazon for $8, and it smells like fish. It does smell like fish. <laughs> it, smells like fish. <laughs> it smells like the oh, I think it's sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> that is batsy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you get for next day, $8 delivery. <laughs> oh, this is great. Uh, this is so well done. Fun. We see the that totem. Nice one. Eden wins immunity yeah. because that was surviving back pocket. Look at that. Now that, this is bringing back memories. <laughs> They played this every morning and they woke up. <laughs> oh, that's so good. We actually did have a song that we just sung because because there's music rights, so you can't sing on camera. Of course. So we just made up "Good Morning Samoa." <laughs> we had a "Good Morning Samoa" song that we sung. Oh, lovely. Um, look at that. Out play, out game, out pocket. Out that's pocket. Yeah. Done, you've we outdone yourself. Out pocket. Out yeah. Uh, that was surviving back pocket, and there is a little more back pocket to go after our last ad break. Stick around, won't you? Rabbit food, again. I think mine's still growing. What about you? Cat food. You blokes want anything from the shops? Bloody river. Bloody unreal. Oh, oh what the f is that? Oh, Struth, this tastes like John Howard's dick. And I'd know. I just threw up in my mouth. I think it tasted better. Where's that cat food? Maybe that'll taste better. Oh, this is in worse taste than Academy Award winning actress Scarlett Johansson playing an Asian woman. Oh, where the f did these come from? <sighs> oh. Evil's Pie Boy. The worst Australian taste. And the green room goes to escape to the megaverse, including technical crew. I see voids of blue and the TV show bright and the useless understudy different every night. And I think to myself, what a megaverse world. Look at the Tetris pieces as they fall down from the sky. Drop him. Drop him. Fucking Zuckerberg is selling it. A big fat lie. Ah! I see sitcom cameras missing all their damn cues. Those problem gamblers watch them lose. I hear crowds laughing. 
you made the show We enjoyed this more than you ever know And I think to myself What a megaverse, megaverse, megaverse Welcome back to Back Pocket. Uh, yes. We saw some strange things there. Uh, <laughs> we saw uh, a new ad from Reese Wild, a new word from the sponsor. Thank you very much, Reese Wild. Send in new words from the sponsors, please. We love them. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw the Evil's Pie Boy ad. Uh, and we saw a very interesting mm. ad for Escape to the Megaverse uh, featuring Kamal. Featuring Kamal. <laughs> Kamal will be there every night. <laughs> we can't get him to leave. No, that is the real Kamal. That's no CGI AI yeah. Kamal there. Nope. We, mate, Kamal is big, big supporters of uh, Game Boy's comedy. That is uh, me and my brother. We do a, we've been doing comedy for about 10 years now at yep. the uh, Melbourne International Comedy Festival and other places. And our new show is out and it's called Escape to the Megaverse. It's a very meta comedy show. Uh -huh. um, and it's, uh, it's coming up at the Comedy Festival. We open on the 11th of April. Yep. Um, um, and you can book your t tickets right now. You can book it right now, guys. You're on the book internet right as it is. So you've, uh, yeah. you've done our audience a very nice uh, favour in uh, there is a promo code. There is Ooh. a promo code. Uh, um, get free tickets. Is it free? Our <laughs> 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 accountants like losing it. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no you, get a, you get a discount. Yep, I don't say I don't do anything for the Back Pockets community. Yeah, we always you do get, that. You do, I you do get, oh, I've always said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, use Back Pocket as a promo code. Yep. Um, you get a discount on all your tickets. Oh, amazing. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're in Melbourne uh, and you're going to head to the Comedy Festival, this is a show you definitely want to There's see. There's a link it's, in the it's chat full, now. It, like, honestly, it is right up. Your, you guys, out. you guys oh, would absolutely man. love it. We've got, we've got old guess the line from the ads. We've got old video game references. Amazing. We do heaps of like. There's a whole movie. Quite, the whole show is sort of based around the idea of AI technology. And I if love we that. put if we put things that we love into the show, it generates sketches based on that. <laughs> so there's heaps of. Re so me and Josh are putting in like old '90s like cheese TV and all this oh, old wow. stuff, <laughs> and it comes back with like a lot of fun interaction with the guests. Yeah, we get um you get the audience to do um be involved involved in a lot of the games which That's is really so fun cool. we've got a whole bit about virtual reality um we made we've actually made um a mega vision pro that uh that you Excellent. can that you, the audience can wear <laughs> so you can see Very what good. the world's like it's um the, the, we really try and through use our eyes. technologies well it's actually through <laughs> steve bashimi's eyes <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the best eyes working I'm, today the most you, beautiful eyes as you said life. you guys yeah. have been doing as game boys you and your brother have done a heap of shows over the last couple of years and i've been had been fortunate enough to go to a bunch of them and it is genuinely amazing how you guys reinvent every year that you come back. You do not rest on your laurels and say, let's do a similar thing with a couple of different jokes. Um, you've done ones that were super... You did a Video Games Olympics uh, one We year. did Wide World of Esports, Wi which Wide was World of e what if the Olympics was taken over by yep. video games. We, yep. we did like <laughs> we did Mortal Kombat fencing. We did Speed Solitaire. Yep. We did like... It was... Wild. We did GoldenEye Jiu-Jitsu. That's right. With just slappers only. <laughs> slappers only. <laughs> so really fun. And then, yeah, on, on that... You you guys kept building on it. You did one that was like all mobile app game kind of. Yes, we did Clash Battle, of... Warlords, Age of Candy, Robots, War Royal Kingdom, Legend Saga there you was go. the name of the title. Um, and then a whole oh, bunch yeah. that were taking the piss. Almost the whole thing was structurally based off the Universal Studios Backlot Tour. Backlot Tour, that we, old nineties ad. That we you made just went our to... own our own fictitious uh, studio, Game Boy Studios, and the entire show was a Backlot Tour. And the show ended. The last twenty minutes of the show was us recreating Jurassic Park live on stage wow. with audience members like playing parts That's in it. So I was cool. very I was fortunate enough to we be called done. up on stage. I, no, I, I got to wear the cravat and the hat and yes. Alan Grant said I got to do the glasses yeah, and everything like that. Glasses. But the really best part well. was it was the roller coaster finish and at the end everyone in the audience put their hands up and a, a camera drops out and took a photo of the audience and then he leans in with giant, uh, a giant printout of the T-Rex <laughs> and it just leans in at the end. I'll, show, I'll, I'll do the photo and post yeah, sure, in the post show. Yeah, uh, we'll yeah. so cool. But again, I can't <clears throat> recommend it enough uh, to go along and uh, yeah, I'm hopefully going to oh, be man. down this year to see it. It's really um, check it we I can saw... confirm Eden will be there. Kamal, probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> yes. yeah, exactly. uh, but I saw a few people <laughs> shouting out doing a back pocket crew all in Melbourne going down. Oh, definitely. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. 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 Make it a night. Come down. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. Uh, and we're going to get a little bit of a taste of some of uh, what you do mm. in the next segment. Before we get there, we have to shout out Dump Days, who sponsors the next segment. Uh, 
That's Dump. Sound of an Ibis. That's Sound of an Ibis. <laughs> uh, Dump Days uh, is a very generous sponsor of the show. We thank you so much. Uh, and a fine artiste. And we're going to look at a Dump Days comic now. Uh, and I'll get, maybe look. get you to do some voice acting. Oh, yeah. Well. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like to be the left out. Ibis? I'll be I'll the, be the left Ibis. Ibis. Yeah. I was born to play the left Ibis. I, I, could I can play, I can play any bird. <laughs> I've got a lot of range. Uh, see, see that road worker down there? Yeah. <laughs> it's, everyone's just a grizzled. He's he's a thief. Wow, really? Yeah, I didn't want to believe it, but I flew over his yard, and all the signs were there. That's fourth panel. That's punchline panel. That's punchline that's panel. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. He stole signs. He stole signs. He stole signs. Road there worker, we go. Not a road worker. He's a thief. thief. He's a thief. Yep. All stole the signs. signs. Are there. Stole signs are there. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent work. I stole a street sign once. I did too. A boy stole a street sign from me once. It was called Inspiration Place. Oh, That's, really? Oh, that was the street sign? <laughs> yeah. Nice. What was yours? Uh, it was Mitchell Road and it was for our mate Mitchell. Oh, I, I stole an election sign that said, like, vote Kathy. And then yeah. the police picked me up and drove me home because I was drunk walking with a sign in the middle of the night. And when I woke up in the morning, I was hungover and the sign was still in my room. And I'm like... They let me keep the sign. That is so. <laughs> they drove me home and let me keep it. I I took, I stole a giant traffic cone, and again I was pulled over by the police, and they're like, "What what are you doing with it?" And I made up this story that I was doing a uh, I was doing a play, and we needed a prop. <laughs> yeah. And I saw it. And I was like, "It's I'm just the perfect for the play." The it was just perfect. <laughs> and they went, "Oh look, it's, look, it's for art." It's, it's okay. Right. <laughs> let me take it. You're an artist. You're an artist. He's a struggling artist, artist. artist yeah. on the street. Uh, uh, good. So there you go. Good. We're all a bit of. We've all got a bit of dump days ibis in us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but we're not done with the show yet. Uh, Eden's about to take charge oh, yes. uh, with a little segment called. Hey, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> yes. Yes. That, that is great. Seamless. That is so perfect. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, this is AI will be back. Okay, so this game, guys. Mm-hmm. So what it is, I have plugged in to my AI generator um, to make up a fake movie. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I also have another real movie. And it's okay. your guys' job. To decide which one's the real one and which one's the AI generated one. Should okay. be easy enough. So I've got the titles <coughs> and then I've got a little synopsis. So let's go by titles first. Sure. The first category is sci fi, okay? Mm-hmm. And they're two. That's science fiction, right? Uh, yes, yeah, stands okay, for yeah, cool, One cool, cool. point. He gets a totem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the two film titles I've got Iron Soldier and Eclipsed Heart. They're the two names. What do, what they're, do we, Initially, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? One's real, one's fake. They're both shit. Um, yep, correct. Eclipsed. Iron Soldier eclipsed, eclipsed heart? Eclipsed heart. Eclipsed heart, I feel, is too clever for a film of this calibre. So my instinct is Iron Soldier is what someone dumb would call a dumb b I'm going to go watching. with Iron Soldier as the <clears throat> knockoff to Iron Man, the way you get all those direct yep. DVDs okay. and just try and go on the trend, and they're like lightning gods. This is like a porn like... version of Iron Man. Yeah, but without the sex. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's just right, porn right, parody. Yeah. Yeah. Eclipsed heart sounds... A bit ridiculous, but it it seems like it's a misdirect. So I think the AI is synopsis. Un- okay, sorry, yeah. Okay, so we've got a couple of Iron Soldiers, and I think and well, no, I think I think up. I think Eclipsed Heart is the real one, and Iron Soldier. Is yeah, okay. The, so we're yeah. Iron okay. Soldier, you're Eclipsed Heart. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Do you want a little bit of synopsis? Please, please. Like, I'll just tease you. So Iron Soldier. A robot created by the military falls into the hands of a group of mercenaries. It's up to the son of the man who created the robot to stop the mercenaries before they sell the robot to a foreign power. Okay, and a a Clipsed Heart, very complete. Clipsed Heart is in the bustling metropolis of Solaris, where technologically intertwines with the remnants of ancient magic. Two unlikely souls find their paths crossed under a rare lunar eclipse. Now, I think that's real. I reckon that's that's real. real. That's That's real. real. It's just a better description. (laughs) Do we show the poster as the reveal? Okay, okay, okay. So, what are we thinking is real? Eclipse. I think Eclipse Heart is real. So, we think Eclipse Heart is real. Okay. Let's see the poster. Let's show the poster of the real film. Oh, it's fuck. Iron oh, Soldier. No. Yes, it is no. Iron Soldier. Is the real film Come you can on. see there? Now you'll see up there. Iron Soldier actually stars. Is the Pence? synopsis is worse than the legs of that robot. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about this film stinks. If you look top left, this is a 20, 2010 film. It stars Joe Estevez, of course, which is Martin Sheen's lesser known brother. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, I was going to say this. Is yes, ah. it's an Estevez because you know Sheen is an Estevez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. So yeah, so there you go. So this, real soldier. This looks like the 
kind of film where they implored the actor to make the <laughs> noise <laughs> itself yeah. as he moved around. Yeah. Okay, good. Wow. So like James Earl Jones. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going. <laughs> okay, so no points for anyone that round. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay next Take next next round is yep. comedy. Okay, so they've got the two film titles here. Lovely. Flipping Fortune mm -hmm. and Bone Alone. <laughs> <laughs> I want Bone Flipping Alone to be real because I want to watch and it. And Bone Alone. I want to watch Bone Alone. My heart is with Bone Alone. Okay, so you think Bone Alone is real? Yeah. I want to manifest I Bone Alone. I don't think AI would come up with Bone Alone. So okay. What does it say the synopsis? Okay, synopsis. So we're all thinking Bone Alone right now. Yep. Okay, Flipping Fortune is two rival families, the Johnsons and the McKinnons, have been feuding for generations. But when the town's main factory closes, the two families team up to build a self-flipping pancake machine oh, fuck based off. on a foreign patent that their great-grandfather saved. Yeah? That sounds okay. sick. That's wild. Bone alone? <laughs> When a family visits grandma's house on Christmas Eve, they leave their dog at home alone. When three thieves try to take the presents from under the Christmas tree, the dog must use every trick in its book to stop them. Yeah, I want that more than anything <laughs> that now. That sounds like Which the greatest one is real film. Ever. Which bone, one bone is alone the is real. Bone, bone alone is real. Bone alone. Bone alone. So we're all going bone alone? I'm gonna, I, I want bone alone to be real, but it can't be. It has to be the flipping one. Okay, so you're flipping fortunes to bone alone. Flipping is real, but bone alone should be okay, real. Okay, let's reveal the real poster. It's yes. Bone Alone! Yes. Oh, we're gonna watch it! <laughs> <laughs> we've gotta watch he's it! Doing, he's <laughs> doing the Macaulay, the Culkin hands on the mouth as well. Holy it's just a straight rip off. It's <laughs> so amazing that, that, that is the real. Logo, the house. That, yeah. so that is funny. amazing. And so, can I just tell you that Please. Bone Alone is 2013 and stars the one and only. Of Estimus! <laughs> Kevin Sorbo. What? Hercules himself. Oh, of course. Oh, shit. Does that Does point he out? Out? Yeah. Do so he, pointer. he didn't even get a title credit. <laughs> and he's in the Ballot of <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my lord. Wow. Okay, I'm very good. That for Christmas. Okay, a couple of points over here. Thank you. So, no points. Yeah, no but, points. I, but I win because the movie exists. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we can all watch it. We can all watch it yeah. tonight. Amazing. Um, okay, next one is a rom com. Change mm -hmm. it up a okay. bit. And out. So I've got two here. I've got Love on the Airways and I've got Playing for Keeps. Love on the they airways sound real. and They're playing so for real. keeps. Sure playing for keeps is a movie, but okay. like maybe not in yeah, this. Yeah, rom-com fiend. Yeah, playing for keeps sounds the same. But also, yeah, I was about to say it just sounds like. Love a on the airways though is two radio DJs that fall in love <laughs> by. Co uh, like are you reading like my synopsis? <laughs> <laughs> Please, go ahead. Okay. Well, Julia Henderson, a pragmatic book editor, and Mike Carter, an idealistic radio DJ, unexpectedly find themselves co-hosting a national radio show on love. Initially clashing over their different views on romance, their debates captivate listeners nationwide, turning the show into an unexpected hit. It's, you've got male, sleepless in Seattle. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Very true. You've got, but I will point out, you've got surnames for both characters, which is just okay. AI working a little too hard. Well, I'll yeah. go, I'll go play. For oh, no. keeps. Long past his soccer playing heyday, George Dyer, as oh. down his like former professional soccer star, attempts to rebuild his life and his relationship with his son, Louis Dyer, by coaching the boys' soccer team. Despite his efforts Checks to turn out the over surnames are the same. It yeah, is yeah. The same. Yeah. Despite his efforts to turn over a new leaf, George's charming demeanor inadvertently leads him to becoming the object of affection for various soccer mums. Oh, oh, that's fun. That's, that's for those fun, fun This movies. one's hard. This one's hard. <laughs> rom coms are. Uh, that's a hard one because I discovered the. Um, we've got a friend who uh, has, is in a Hallmark Christmas movie. Movie, yes. Uh, and we looked it up and we were like, oh my god, it's it's. I've. I read the description. I'm like, no, this is the same movie as one I just watched. They just they change like the career, and it's like they come in. Uh, they're a professional. They don't agree with the, the other person. They bicker. They realize they need yeah. each other. And it was like one was a cake maker. One was about it was like bake for love. The next mm -hmm. one was called like soup so for, love. for love. And it was yeah. just like, oh, so those were real, which makes me think this is impossible to pick. I'm saying get the soccer. They mom both. One. They both sound totally. Plausible. Yeah. The problem. I, I wonder. Okay. Airwaves. I, I think it's a cool. I think it's a cool idea. Dolphin Pan says, "Fuck! So. I've seen the movie that is real, so I don't know which one." <laughs> uh, which one? I just like would AI go, like do the soccer mom thing with like I, with that? I think thing? it I think probably it would, would because there's a lot of dialogue about soccer moms online. Yeah, mm. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I think Airways is real and soccer is fake. I'm okay. Going, I'm going Airways real. Airways well. real. Airways real. I guess I'm gonna do. I'll do a, a point of difference. I'll do the other one. Playing for keeps. Okay, let's reveal the real film. It's playing and for keeps. Gerard Butler it's a butler. Hell? With Gerard Butler. It's a butler film. A wild butler what? has appeared. And there's Uma, Uma Thurman, <laughs> Jessica Bile, 
Jessica Biel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the lesser known <laughs> twin of Jessica Biel. In the green square. That's crazy. And it's with, it's with Catherine Zeta Jones oh and my, Dennis Quaid. And with Dennis Quaid. Dude, oh I don't recognise the poster at all. Look at Dennis Quaid's teeth there. Look at Gerard's hair. How much do you reckon he paid There's for those teeth? a lot of hair. Boo, I want airwaves. <laughs> you, won't, you guys won't be able to read this, but it says uh, underneath the cast, from the director of The Pursuit of Happiness. That's a good film. Yeah, there you go. Happiness movie. is spelt H-A-P-P-Y. That's how the film... E. That's that's, 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 a, that's oh, part right, of the film. Yeah. It's part of the film. It's part of the movie. Um, Josh is like, the poster's AI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look how many fingers Dennis Quaid has. <laughs> <laughs> those teeth are not real. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I've okay. subliminally like seen this at some point. Uh, yeah, it's probably just been on in the background. Cast, man. Yeah. It's a huge it's cast, huge. terrible huge. film, huge cast. Oh my God. Um, at least, the, Sam, I think at, you're at winning le- now. I think at you're least ahead. in a um, in like a DVD store or something. Totally. Like that. Oh yeah. yeah. That's when they just put everyone in boxes. They were like, uh, yeah. uh, 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 Valentine's Day. No, yeah. Yes, New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They just put people. Yeah, that started it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So three from three. You're doing very well, Steph. You've seen some movies. Yeah. I feel like I. I feel like I. See through robots. You see okay. through robots. <laughs> okay. I think a robot would say that. Yeah. <laughs> With your X ray vision. How many fingers do you have? How many fire hydrants? <laughs> my, li- my, my line is that I spent many years working with one, so I know them very well. Yeah, oh, good. Uh, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ouch. Um, now watch me. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, we've got action. We're up to action now. Okay. There's an action film. I've got two for you. I've got Flesh Wounds and Ooh. Cypher's Edge. Flesh, flesh Wounds and mm. Cypher's Edge. Mm. What are we initially Flesh thinking? Flesh Wounds is an awful name. Yeah. yeah. Cypher's Edge sounds cool in a, in a dumb way. I, yeah, I feel yeah, like it's cool in a dumb way. It's a good yeah. description. Yeah, Cypher's Edge is cool. Flesh Wounds? Flesh Wounds doesn't work. No. Nah. I don't reckon. I don't reckon a humans come up with flesh runes. That's what. Someone in a marketing room has been like, "This title does not yeah. trend. Like yeah. this is bad." Who puts flesh in a title that's uh, of a movie that's not sexy? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Good save. Yeah. Well, wait till you hear the description, oh. please. <laughs> uh, flesh wounds on a remote U.S. Army facility. A group of scientists conducting top secret weapon experiments vanish. An elite covert ops team, commanded by Lieutenant Tyler, is asked is tasked with recovering the missing persons within 24 hours. Oh, yeah. And then we've got Cypher's Edge, which is in the near future. The digital battlefield has evolved beyond recognition and the world's most powerful nations vie for control in the shadows of cyberspace. That's AI. That's AI. That's AI. AI. Having a dream, having yeah. a fear. It's like, <laughs> oh, God, I hope this I, 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 is AI I think love fle- itself. Flesh wounds is so shit. And then shit. I met my wife. <laughs> flesh, flesh wounds is so shit that I don't think. I, I Are don't you think a robot? Click <laughs> here. I think only a human could be that shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Flesh wounds? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. okay. Flesh. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the chat just says. Bone Alone is free on YouTube, so we can oh, all watch yay. it. Oh, oh, yeah. That's Great. a bone show. We're watching Good it now. Nice. Okay, um, let's reveal the real poster. It is Flesh Wounds. Kevin Sorbo again. And no. starring Kevin Sorbo again. <laughs> What? That was such a reward. No, it's Kevin Sorbo's yeah. back at it. Holy that is so funny. Kevin Sorbo, Hercules himself has... <laughs> he gets work. He <laughs> gets work. He gets work somehow. <laughs> it looks very Fallout, Fallout-y, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, the yeah. Fallout. Yeah. 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 Okay, guys, and we've got one more category. This category okay. is simply crazy. Okay? okay? I've got three. I've, it's been so crazy, they've had to put it in... I've got three films here for you. One is AI generated and two are real. Mm. Jesus, okay. okay. I've got... Here we go. Hard. I've got... Mega Shark versus Cyber Kraken. I've got Shark Exorcist, and I've got Sharktopus versus the Whale Wolf. The fuck? So I know Shark Exorcist is real. Okay. Oh. So you're you. eliminating that. Okay. Um, yeah. Red Letter Media looked at every Exorcist film, and there's <laughs> and like it's a shark exorcist. and one of them was Shark Exorcist. So, uh, exorcist. Okay. So then it's a toss up between. Can I ask? Sh- was the shark possessed by a demon or was the person possessed <laughs> well, by a demon shark? Well, I'll tell you. A demonic nun summons Satan in the form of a ferocious shark and unleashes terror upon the sleepy fishing <laughs> town, it's a sleepy town of Paris. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. So it's in the sand. It's just swimming around a river. <laughs> it's, it's a bull shark. America. Such a sleepy <laughs> town, yeah, that Paris. Yeah, yeah, sleepy, sleepy Paris town. <laughs> Uh, oh the city God. of sleepiness. <laughs> Famously, the city, the city of, of exorcist. Sleepy love. Uh, okay, okay, so that's... Go. Re- okay, wait, so you're, that's you're eliminating that. Okay, we, so it's now shark, real. Sh- okay. Mega Shark versus Cyber Kraken or Sharktopus versus wh- Whale Wolf? I can't one. allow Whale Wolf Neither. to be real. Okay, yeah. I'll, do you want a synopsis? Please. Please. Do you want a synopsis? Oh, where are you leaning <laughs> towards? I, 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 deep in thought over here. I feel like... Um, I feel like what was the first one? Uh, Sh- Mega Shark versus the Cyber Kraken or I- Sharktopus versus the Whale Wolf? 
I reckon um I reckon Sharktopus is real. Okay. Okay, okay, here we go. So Mega Shark versus Cyber Kraken is in the uncharted waters of the Pacific lives the colossal Mega Shark. Its awakening unleashes chaos on the marine world. Meanwhile, at the darkest depths, a technological enhanced Kraken is un- also unleashed. Meanwhile, <laughs> Shark <laughs> versus Whale Wolf. When a mad scientist hybridizes the genes of a killer whale and a wolf, this creature this creates <laughs> the whale wolf and once again it's up to Damn the it. shark to push to stop <laughs> it. Okay. Shark to push. We need that okay. Call the call the cop shop. That's real. That's real. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> That's real. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. pretty I, I, sure I, I, I've I, heard I, of the shark to push and seen Cyber, uh, uh, I, I have you heard think, Mega I Shark? Hi- I've heard of I'm, Mega I'm, Shark. I'm, as well, I'm yeah. saying that's real based on the word hibernized. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's true. Okay, so we're landing on Shark to Puss versus Whale Wolf. Yeah. Trick round. Yeah, They're all real. real. <laughs> okay, that, would be, that would have to be amazing. Yeah, okay. No, let's reveal the let's reveal one of the real ones. There we go. Shark to Puss versus Whale Wolf. That's Very real. Good. That is real. That's real. And then, uh, and then you got the other one. Casper look at Van the poster. Dean. Look, yeah, Casper Van Dien's in a good version of Saul. But look at this. Satan has jaws. Satan has jaws. Amazing. The shark that's, exists. That's a great that's poster. That's fucking great. But that is awesome. But yes, you've got to love the fact that Casper Van Dien of, from Starship Troopers yeah. is, is in Shark to Puss uh, versus Whale. He so retweeted good. you. Responded, he responded Dean. to me. He responded to me. What? I and I, it was cruel because <laughs> so I watched Marauder. Yeah. And I tweeted as a gag, a bad gag, and a mean gag, not knowing the Casper. I didn't at him, but I was right. Starship Troopers Marauder is a true return to form for Casper Van Dien because <laughs> he's he's just him in it. Yeah. Pretty bland. Amazing. And he responded he was like, "Thanks so much." <laughs> <laughs> That that is, so, now I mean it a hint of irony. <laughs> now I mean it earnestly. Now you have to, because if you meet the man. And he's amazing. I love him. But also, he was he must have searched his name on Twitter to find that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's got a Google alert yeah, when his yeah, name yeah, comes yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Um, that was great, guys. Well, Excellent. I think, love it. Deb, I think you absolutely killed that round. You got every round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Round of applause. She knows her AI. There it is. There's the card. Very good. Let's watch it again. It's so good. I'll be back. Uh, I love it. I'll be back. I'll be back. Um, Now I've got I've got a little extra for you guys. I know. Is this all right? Can we can we go a little bit? Can we do a little bit extra? Please. But only if there's like a card to introduce what you have. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, play the tape. Dude, where's my title? Yes, we're going to play Dude, Where's My Title? Which title, Another dude? Grace. This now. <laughs> what is my title? Say? Title. What does my say? Dude. Dude. You mix me up the dude. Yeah, 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 which is yeah. perfect remembrance yeah, yeah, of that yeah, yeah, stupid yeah, yeah. movie. Okay, oh, okay so God. guys, what we're going to do now, we're going to yeah. play a little game. What I've done is I've got some images here that make up a film title. Okay. So chat, play along at home. <laughs> um, but this is so, let's pull up Let's pull up the first Please. one. I've got four films and then I've okay. got four video games. Okay. 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 So this is, a, this is our first film. So <laughs> What the fuck is it? We looked at okay. this one before you yeah. came on the show. So here we, we don't go. know what it is. Okay, so here we go. So there's four things. It could be it could be words or it could yeah. be syllables, but you've got a few things here. So guys, let's sound it out. Come okay. on, let's okay. sound it. Sound instinct, it out. It was like oh, just like the first thing that comes to mind when I see it. Smile, eye, royale, egg. <laughs> Eggs, I'm good. Smile, eye. <laughs> Why egg? Bite. Her. So, so that character it's is Anne from, Arrested Veal from Arrested Development. <laughs> her? Uh, her? Her? I think it, I'm her. she calls one, it a me and egg. A me and egg. <laughs> just throw up a little bit. At one, at one point, someone calls her egg because they just call her her the whole time. Her. Egg. So I'm gonna go. Eyes, eyes, face. Smile, I bite her. Okay, Smiley so you got. Oh, you, her, I'll give you hers locked in. Hers her locked, her's right. locked yeah. in. And I'll tell you this: they're syllables. Okay, so okay, four syllables. So one four, four syllables, syllables okay. one word. End of it is her. It's a movie. Smile. Uh, ra- so ben I, her. I. Uh, I bite her. I bite her. I, I chew. chew I. What's he doing? I eat her. Jackson. Eat her. Eat her. <gasps> eat her. I eat her. Something I eat her. Oh, God. Come on, put it together. Something I eat What's I, the first I, one? What, what kind of movie is it? <laughs> you've, got, you've got the back end, guys. Smile you've got the back I end, yeah? Smiley. So, what's the first one? Face. So, what is he? 
a emoji. He's sort of spite. Spite. No, but he's fa face. What's uh, another word? Another word. Keep going down the happy route. You're getting closer. Emoticon. Emo emoji. No, no, no. It's down the happy route. Happy. Happy. happy uh, joyous. Uh, no, I keep going. Thrilled. He's really. His thumbs up as well. So he's really like. Uh, okay. Keep going. Keep going. Um, another word. Uh, another word. Um, he's. Um, You're so um, close, guys. Um, he's, um, I. You got. I ate her. I ate her. I ate her. Smile I ate So her. what's what's Smile, film joy, title? I ate her. Fine title. Something. I ate her. Fighter. Street fighter. The, I ate the emoji her. I is ate really. Ah. Oh. Say it. Glad I ate her. Glad yes. I ate her. Oh. oh. Glad I ate her. Glad I ate her. Very good. Now we know, guys. Now we know how to play. Now yep, we know yep, how to play. Yep, We're yep. getting okay. it around. Okay. So glad oh, I was, ate her. Was, well, guys, was... they just get better. Oh, good. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, bring up the next one. This is another film. Ruby's furious in the background. This is another film. This is okay. Good. Okay, here we go. What? Now this Mario Bowser Wario. Wario. Yeah. And it's a movie title. Are you not entertained? Good reference there. <laughs> is it a, and this is a movie title. This a is a game. movie title? Yeah. But it's not uh, necessarily their names. No, not at all. No. Okay. okay. Uh, so he's Wahoo? Plumber? No. Uh, or he's, jump, jump. Is it just the M? Are these syllables or are these three words? These are, these are words. And the, ti a, the film title has seven words. What? Yeah. <laughs> what the... So what existentially? Okay. What do you think they? Existentially. What, existentially, what do they represent? Okay. Uh, oh, Italian plumber. Super. Oh. No. What do they represent existentially? These. Like like her like heroism, hero? goodness. Yeah. Oh, good. oh oh oh. Good. good. Oh. Yeah. He hero. Good. Hero. The bad. And the ugly. Yes. Oh. Yes. There we go. The good. The bad. <laughs> and the ugly. Bravo. Very, oh, the chat's blowing up. Very good. Nice. The good. The bad. And the ugly. Fast and furious. Tokyo <laughs> trip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good about it, Elliot. Okay, let's let's keep right. going. That was good. You guys, you Love guys it. have figured it out yeah. now. Good. Oh, 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 you got that. That was good. Okay, all right, all right. very good. Okay, yeah. last film title. Last film title. <laughs> let's play it. Last film title. Tokyo. Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. Oh, yes. Yes. It is. Thanks. Thanks for ruining it, chat. Tokyo Yo Drift. The chat, the chat I, I are calling know, out films before they even appear. I didn't appear. even know the words coming out. I was just like, Tokyo Drift. I'm particularly proud of that one. That one's That's good. Um, so good. Now, name, name the film that the toe is from. Uh, oh, is it a Uma Thurman toe? Oh, God, he's good. It's, it's, it's God, he's good. Right? It's Wiggle, yeah. Wiggle, yeah. The and the Drift, what are we looking at? Oh, uh, Raft. Cast from, uh, Cast Cast yes, Cast very good, very yeah. good. It's like, oh there's a God. movie called Raft. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Shaft. It's the porn parody of Castaway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is very good. Now, guys, video we games. are on to video games. We should get these. Video games. games. You guys should be well you on top of You know Uma Thurman's toes too well. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that is Sonic at the Olympic, Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games. That's rolling. the cat from Stray, and that's a Stray, shit game. and that's League of Legends, not the mm. good one. Yeah, not um, the good one. I know. I was, I was disgusted with myself that I had to put Ro this in. Yeah, I bet. Ro meow lol. Stray league. Romeo lol. Stray lol. S Os Olympics. Is that rowing? Mm. Um, mm. Ro cat lol. Ro mm. ro stray ro league. league. Okay, Legends. you've got you've got. Okay, we're getting close here. Row Stray League. We're getting here close here with, with League. League's locked in. Okay, okay. League. Okay, yeah, yeah. And Row's not locked in. Rocket League! Oh, she's good. Row Cat, oh, Cat League. league. Nice. Row Cat League. I love Bravo. Steph's one is not to say that. It's to sit there in silence and go... Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's how my brain works. In, in her brain, yeah. she's just going every single game that she's ever played. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Road okay. Cat League. Road I was pretty happy with well that. Done. that That's good. good. That That's good. good. Okay, next video game, please. Let's bring it up. Soup Woman Meat Meats Man. Super Meat Boy. Oh! <laughs> Super Meat Boy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you didn't even know that you were solving that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Super <laughs> Meat Boy. <laughs> meat Man. Meat I am man. having a breakdown. Meat Man. Meat, meat Man. man. <laughs> Super Meat I mean, it kind of works. Boy. That's so good. Yeah, That's so good. good. I, think, I, think, I was we... like pee and ham soup. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Soup Woman Meat Man. Yeah, good. Very good. Okay, I think we have one more, guys. We have one more. Here we go. Last okay. video game. Here hey we go. Hey Limbo. Hey. Combat. Combat. Hey Evolved. Low Combat Evolved. Evolved. Oh, oh, yeah, nice. Guys, yeah. that I'm also particularly Bro, proud that of. That is very good. Yeah. That is Halo. 
Combat evolved. Fantastic. You guys it's almost like the more syllables, the easier it is to get one to or two right. The easier one, and you can sub. And it is just, off, and it, a lot piece. of times you're just like, oh, that's just um, Halo Combat Evolved. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh that's the thing that I'm, I'm solving it. Smile, yeah. smile, Iris, chew, yeah. and I love that. That was the co most complicated one. Was the first one. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> we, yeah, behind the scenes, we looked at it just to see how the game was played, and we sat here all afternoon at that one. We didn't look at any others. We're like, we can't work it out. We no one can't work it out. It can't work it out. A single film that ends with egg. <laughs> uh, uh, so, sorry, guys. There's actually one more. Oh, oh what? One more. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, oh, okay. One more. Please. Oh, there, oh, we do have one more. Ooh, oh, nice. Wow. Did this you the make bonus this? one? I did oh, make can this. You play? Okay, I, cool. did, I did make this. Uh, that's um. Monica from Friends. Scream. <laughs> oh, Gus has got it. Jackie Brown. No. Jack, Jackie. 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 It's a video game. Brown. I think I oh, might have this one. Brown. Brown. I might have this one. Can brown I? Can hair. I hair. Yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> the woman has brown hair. It's, it's gonna be Pokemon. It. Of course, po it's po oh, Pokemon. Josh, well done. There we go. There we go, guys. Well, Pokemon. I've, the chat's I've, got it. I've chat never knows. seen um, Kung Fu Panda, so I didn't know that, that was. I thought you were going to say, I've never heard of this Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. <laughs> it's very good. She has brown it's hair. very good. That's the Jackie first thing I see in a woman. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, amazing. When I look at a woman, I look at the top of her hair follicles <laughs> all the way true. down to her toes. You know, I. I dyed my hair darker and you commented on how much you liked it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I'll brown. notice it. <laughs> and that there was a go, segment. Guys. And that was, that was another segment. And that was Dude, Where's My Title? Love it. Fantastic. Uh, and if you want to see games like that or similar, probably better, <laughs> then make sure you go and check out, check out Eden Show. You They're better than that. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Except for the stuff of the show, not back pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, that, was, uh, that was a show, but um, we do have. Uh, there's one more thing we got to get through. Oh, I, do, I need to do one thing over here. Sorry. Okay, he's just going to leave on that note. Uh, we'll filibuster in the meantime and turn the lights on. Uh, yeah, this has been a great show. How Thank did, you so much for coming. Have you enjoyed great. your time here? Oh, this has been one of the best things I've ever done in my life. Clips out. Yeah. He does good bites for TV, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. We'll use that next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all his audition training. Can we, play, can, we, can we play the clip from the start of the show? I was on. on. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly were. It's been a, a pleasure oh, having guys, you here. It's been so much fun. <clears throat> Absolutely oh. love it. Loved, love catching with you guys. Love all the Back Pocket team. And every, everyone in front of the camera and everyone behind it. You know? Oh, look at that. You know? Big yeah. round of applause yeah. to everyone behind yeah. the camera. That's, that's, oh, uh, that's how you stick around. You make friends with the crew. <coughs> oh, yeah. yeah, big time. Mm. We aren't quite done with tonight's show, though. Um, What the hell is oh. that? Oh, the that's oh, that's That's Onimus. <laughs> Are you familiar with that sound? Oh, big time. I know what I know what this means. Okay. I know what this means. Uh, what what is happening? Well, let's find out. We'll uh, cross live to I guess end of the show. What yeah. The fuck? Not all of us are gonna leave. <laughs> oh, not all of us no. are gonna stay. Oh no! <laughs> oh. To surviving back pocket. Oh my god! I am Jonathan Lapaglia. <laughs> You might know me from the slap. Yes! So, here we are, day 49, and we are left with four. But of course, as this is the way with this thing, one of you must fuck off. <laughs> Before we vote, I'm going to give you all the chance to argue why you believe you should remain in surviving back pocket. You're embodying... Oh <laughs> Let's so start JLP with so Gus. Oh. <clears throat> So funny. Uh, look, it's been a wild couple of hours and I've made a lot of friends along the way. Uh, made a couple of enemies too. Um, but I think at the end of the day, I bring something to the game that not everyone has, uh, which is I manufacture very cheap, uh, but very economical buffs that I bring along and uh, props. And I really make the, the, I set the scene for what we're here for tonight, which is uh, a fantastic show of Survivor. I think. Mm. Well done. I don't want to go home. Oh. I don't want to go home. Oh. <clears throat> Back to you, JELP. <laughs> Thank you, nice. Gus. You're welcome. Steph, why do you think you should remain on the island? <clears throat> Look, I think um, a lot of the time people are really focused on what um, you know specific skills uh, team members can can bring um, to the island, but um, I think for a moment everyone really should look inside themselves and think about you know who is the heart and soul of this group, like who. 
really brings everyone together in the moments when they need it most. Because, I mean, I feel like since I arrived here, I've, I've really formed a really strong bond with all of you. And I think we've all kind of connected in individual ways. And um, and, I, and I feel like I, I, I know all of you so well. And, and I feel like you'd agree that, um, you know, I, I, I care about this place and I care about what happens here. And, um, and I really want that to be uh, my legacy. And, and I think I should stick around and see it through to the end. Peter. You've done a lot, but why do you think you should remain here? You might be seen as a threat. <clears throat> Look, uh, I could totally understand how people can see me a threat. I, I, I feel like uh, a lot of people contribute a lot at a surface level, but I, I contribute a lot at a really functional level, you know? Uh, to give you a little taste of what it might be like if I had not shown up to the island at all, you know? There wouldn't be any lighting. Uh, oh, that's quite nice. We'd be, uh, we'd be in the dark. And we'd be in the dark, not just from a, uh, a on a physical level, but also from a uh, in the realms of ignorance. Uh, we would all be <laughs> left left in ignorance. Uh, this island would have been stuck in the dark ages, uh, and uh, through the Renaissance that was me, uh, I feel like I brought. Uh, um, it's the Renaissance it's that, that was, was me. me. I want that on a uh, t-shirt. Culture, <laughs> education, and lights. <laughs> Let's not forget the the very the physical the torch bringer. to to the island. So I I just feel like we should all remember that as we go to vote. Josh, we're gonna need some crash zooms on our eyes while people talk, doing some real shifties. <clears throat> a couple of those as well would be uh, much appreciated. I agree, Gus. Really good point. Finally, Eden, super fan. You're welcome. Uh, why do you think you should stay, guys? I think I should stay because I'm the fulcrum of this tribe. I am the person that you can all come to, you can talk strat chat with. I'm the one that's going to be able to get us through to the end game. Now, Gus, you and me have known each other for a very long time and we have our alliance working. So you need to hold strong tonight. Otherwise, I don't think you'll be here later on. So you and, me need, you and me need to stick together being the big targets, okay? So we need to vote together, Gus. You got that? Okay. Now, Pete. I don't appreciate you blackmailing us with your lighting there. <laughs> so obviously, I think we should all vote out Pete. So that's where my vote's going tonight. Mm. And I think this is how we should move the game forward. If you can. He ate, he ate three rations of pudding when he was only meant to eat one. <gasps> Boo! <laughs> uh, I saw that's him exactly do it. the sort of muck raking and, and nasty comments that we don't need in this pockets. game. Yeah, well, it's interesting. It's full of pudding, it's interesting isn't it? you say isn't that. Isn't it, Eden? Mm. Yeah, so my pockets are full of pudding, are they? Check his fingers. Check his fingers. <laughs> he placed that pudding there <laughs> while I was sleeping. There's no way I would eat extra pudding. Uh, you, yeah. Gus, you know me. The proof We've is in it, isn't it? The proof, proof is in it. Yeah, delicious proof. <laughs> we'll soon wow. find out when we vote. Only four of you left. <laughs> and there's still a lot going on. I think it's time to vote. <laughs> okay. Um. Do I do I talk? <laughs> uh, I talk, but I don't say, and you guys don't watch. Yeah, you're um, not you're not gonna you're not gonna say who. I think at the oh, end yeah. of the I think at the end of the day, to, cover your eyes, cover your eyes. The person mm -hmm. I'm oh, voting yeah. out has proven themselves to be strong-willed, but ultimately. Their heart's not really in it. <laughs> okay. You have to drop. Okay. Okay. Steph. Uh, Steph, do you want to go? <sighs> this would be really stressful. Oh, it's stressful. <laughs> oh, it's stressful. <laughs> and this doesn't even have half a million dollars on the line. <laughs> You gotta talk about why, Steph. <laughs> she's thinking. <laughs> she's going through the catalogue of all the games she's played. <laughs> Rocket League. It's a hard, it's a hard choice. It's a hard choice. <clears throat> yeah, we can't watch. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, we're not watching. We're not watching. We're not watching. watching. By the way, there is another survivor in the chat. Oh, is it? Matt. Matt's joined the no chat. Way. Oh, yeah. nice. <clears throat> 2016. Um, Hello, Matt. I, um... 
I really, uh, I hate to do this because um, I really think this person um, could go really far, but ultimately, um, I just, uh, I don't trust, I just don't trust that they have the best um, intentions for the group. Um, so I'm voting this person out today. And then you drop. <laughs> just walk. <laughs> Peter? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We need the subtitles as we <coughs> mutter to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you, do, do you uh, now, oh, he's up. We're all aware of who ate all the pudding. <laughs> Pete's going on. He's got to go. Misdirect? That's good. Misdirect. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> that was me, that was a plan for me. The lights! <laughs> oh god. Okay. Sabotage. Here we go. Crouch! <laughs> oh, uh, is, is that not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I should be a professional at this. Um, not watching. Oh. Okay. Now, hopefully, I've got everyone hating on you, but the real target tonight is this person. That's right. It's time for you to go. You think you know this game? Oh, we're still going. You don't know <laughs> nothing yet, buddy. Okay, now get back up. <laughs> oh, put it in the ad break for... Oh, yeah. Next week. Yeah, nice. And down. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, that's, how, that's how low you had to crouch to come down to our level. <laughs> uh, well, let's go back and see if JP and JLP is the... JLP? Still with us? JLP? Yep. <laughs> Cut. Josh, Josh, that's on you. Yep. <laughs> hey. Oh. Now, I think we should count the votes. Play the idol, yes. Oh, play, play the idol. idol. Play play the idol. Oh, now's the time to play the idol. Is that, is that how it works? Yeah. And you go, anyone that would like to play an idol, and now you can play would be for the someone time to else. do so. Oh, so. So you can't do it until, like, you can't do it afterwards. You have to use it. You do it after the votes. Sorry, 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 But are you playing the idol? Keep well, him for himself. I'm, I'm, you can play it after. Oh, no, 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 I can only play it now. <laughs> I mean, we're making up a game. Yeah, we are. We are definitely making up a game. Okay. Play the idol, play the idol, play the idol. There's four votes. There's four votes. But you've got to get them in the most exciting order. That's true. All right, you hold them up. Yeah. One moment. <laughs> the tension is palpable. Oh no. <laughs> the chat has literally stopped because they're 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 so invested in this. Play the idol. Play the idol. Play the idol. Play the idol. All right. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, plenty of people have taken the idol home without playing. Peter. Eden. <gasps> Steph. <laughs> Eden. What? Ruby. <laughs> Whoever that is, she sounds really pretty and smart. <laughs> Eden. <gasps> Gus. Eden. Oh, play the other. Josh. <laughs> Eden. <laughs> and finally, Eden. <gasps> these votes come from? I've been, I've been <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Peter. Peter. We've lost track. This is Peter. She's to go this is... Yeah. And finally, Peter. <laughs> that comes to one vote for Gus, one vote for Steph, <laughs> one vote for Josh, one vote for whoever that beautiful woman Ruby is, and six votes for Eden and six votes for Peter. <gasps> it seems rock, we rock, have a tie. Rock, 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 oh, rock, rock. we're gonna draw rocks. Can we do rocks? Wait, what's rocks? Oh, also, sorry, I like completely forgot. Does anybody have like an immunity thing? Uh, yes, I have the immunity one. You can't play now. No, I you can totally. Play that. I, I have the immunity one. Eden, <laughs> you have an immunity thingy. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to use it on yourself and save your own life? Or 
Would you like to save Peter? Give it to me. Just yeah. saying. Uh, don't, use, don't use it. You make him use the rock thing. I am. Or oh, flint off. Or we could make fire in the studio. <laughs> Can we do that? Can we do that? Can we we no, no. I, you know what? I've had an amazing time here on Backwalk tonight. And I actually think. Peter, you deserve this for bringing the lights in tonight. <laughs> so I think I think you deserve to stay on back pocket, and I'm 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 going to cop it. I I'm going to cop it. I did put the pudding in your pocket. <laughs> I feel like I should fess up to that now. Thank you, Pete. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Pete. Wow. Oh. Wow. Guys. True friendship is so beautiful. This has been this has been a wild ride for me, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um, Thank you so much. I can't believe six people in after I fucking said how nice the crew is, they fucking all voted for me, the dogs. Um, but you deserve, deserve to be here. It was all the crew mate. votes. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You deserve to be here. Yeah, it was all the crew votes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it wasn't you guys. It wasn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, that was the crew's pudding. Oh, man. Yeah. Yep. Eden, the tribe has spoken. Please stay seated for the outro, and then after that, we will be stuffing you out. This has been Surviving Back Pocket. I'm Jonathan LaPaglia, and uh, I was in the slap. Bye! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. That is amazing. Oh, look at <laughs>
ever, I would say. I mean, uh, we stole half uh, of the show from a uh, network uh, syndicated <laughs> reality show, it but that helped. It that helped. Yeah, that's <laughs> we do that every week. Next week, uh, who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> hey. um, uh, thank you so much to everyone who supports us on Patreon. It's how we make this show. We really appreciate those who uh, give. Please share the show with your friends and family. If you can't uh, donate dollars, that's totally fine. Uh, but spreading the word of Back Pocket uh, helps us um, not just as much, but a lot. Uh, <laughs> if you head to Back Pocket, .gg, you'll find links to the Discord, uh, which is uh, free to access. Jump in there and hang out with people. Uh, socials, the Red Bubble Store. We've had some updates to the Red Bubble Store recently. So you want to jump in there and get yourself a clock. Now's the time. Now's the time to get yourself a clock. Uh, we'll be back next week, Monday and Thursday. Uh, and for those of you at the back pocket tier on Patreon, post show is coming up. So we'll see you there. Uh, Eden, say goodbye. Goodbye. Stephanie, say goodbye. Goodbye, Arisen. Gus. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Bye. Catch you later. Bye. 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 Bye